We are not progressing in life. We need to progress. That shit is what bad. happened to the people? Sexy that did- red is setting back black women, bro. <laughs> but she came out with a lipstick, lipstick brand, and the names is like gonorrhea and like Ugh. a bunch of like STIs and STD. Like, why are you being? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying your hardest to be disgusting? Like, <laughs> That's nasty. you're just trying your hardest to be fucking nasty, bro. That's <laughs> like why? Like, I, I'm, I'm, a, nah, I bet you her pussy stink, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you would do, bro. Like, like, yo, fucking, uh, the NBC, sh- NPC shit is sending us, sending us back, bro. Yeah. Fucking, oh yeah, when they're on the, the R- IG Rose, line, Rose, it smells so good. Fucking acting like Spider Man, like NPC, damn Ma- shame, into NPC Miles Morales. I want to see him in real life, so I could beat his ass. I want to, I want to walk into one of his rooms and beat the fuck out of him, bro. <laughs> I hate that nigga, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> See. Somehow the world will change for me and be so wonderful. I didn't really, I didn't really know the lyrics. <laughs> Nigga started singing for her. I, really, I know somehow we're gonna get there and feel so wonderful. Dun, dun, dun. And you figure out how. <laughs> oh, that's that's a, definitely not it. That's, <laughs> I just, I that, that wasn't it, I that, know for sure. That was victorious. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be afraid to put your dream in action. You never yeah. would afraid to be the main attraction. I know, I knew you stared off the yeah, course. <laughs> you figure out. I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> and I know it's not how you feel. Uh, okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, so you know what I was talking about. I was lying. Okay, we're done, people. Welcome, yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Rigs Podcast, episode number a hundred and fifty-six. 54. Fuck. Almost, brother. I'm your host, DWK Darius. I'm here with my co host, KP Corey, in the building. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing pretty good. You feel me? I know, I'm Corey. Off, I'm off the gin and the juice. Yeah. I'm off the. Uh, the Waki Waki. The Wakisha. The, the, <laughs> the, Lena, the Lena Kiss. Lena Kiss is crazy. Corey has been drinking tonight. Did, Corey, you, you want to tell the people what time is it? Oh, I have not been drinking tonight. You're a lot. <laughs> she fell. <laughs> yeah, that dog almost freaked. There's a dog in the background. Jay's holding her down. It's Ginger, guys. It's if Ginger. You, if Ginger's you remember back. her from episode 153. No, it was not 153. 149. There you go. All right. Ginger's back, but Jay's watching for a little bit. She's on the bed. But like I said, Corey, it's, Corey you want to tell the, the viewers what time is it right now? It's 7.49 p.m. On Wednesday, it's twelve forty four in the morning. <laughs> Corey had a basketball game. He won the championship. They went out drinking, and now he's here. I went here. to a bar, bro. I didn't go out drinking, bro. How many drinks you had? None, bro. I had some. some where the food at? Damn, you took you ate the food. Nah, that's over there in the cut. Oh, now nah, you ate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, we got a good episode for y'all today. So if y'all haven't already, like, subscribe down below. Comment all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel, again, subscribe, post notifications, follow all the socials linked in the bios and go with that stuff. Um, Shout out to all our sponsors. Shout out to SeatGeek. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to get $20 off any orders over $50 or more for your first time using SeatGeek, people. Type shit. And use code NOREGULARS for prize picks. You choose your picks. You get your entries. You enter $5. You will get $50 automatically. Direct. This for for new customers. For new customers only. I'm, I'm cooked. I already got it. What, for prize picks? Yeah, I already got it. Dang, bro. It's okay, bro. But these people know. are going to get it, though. So use code no regulars, N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S, at checkout. Be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she's crying. I'm cooked. I use I use uh, Swish Out's uh, code. That's crazy. You didn't have it yet. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but we got a lot to talk about, people. First of all, we're going to start off. Me and Corey, we're going to... You know, we're going to clear our name. Oh, because you're going to address the elephant in the room? We're going to address the elephant in the room. Okay. So My people- mom could cook, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and she black. Bro. Stop playing with me, bro. And I'm not... For, I don't I don't have... I don't hang around white people. I didn't grow up around white people, bro. And I don't have white family members, bro. So yeah. I, get out of here with all that shit, bro. And some of y'all are stupid, ignorant. How I don't know... I don't know my black history... Because I don't eat collard greens. Yes. That makes no fucking sense. I'm gay because I don't like collard greens. What's good with y'all niggas, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not black because I don't eat collard greens. So what happened was, if y'all don't know, me and Corey was on the podcast a couple, maybe a week or two niggas, ago. Bro. And I, we said we didn't like collard greens. And I guess that post went pretty viral and it went on some pages that love black people, which we also do. We are black. Welcome to the culture. Welcome to the culture. Shout out to you. 
But you know, I think y'all did that on purpose. Yeah, y'all, y'all set us up. <laughs> I seen five hundred plus at least five hundred. Is that six hundred now? Is that six hundred? I, I, I read I read the new ones today. Me and Corey try to fight back as much as possible, but now we're gonna talk about it here. Yeah, I had my mom in the comments trying to fight, bro. Like my mom is in the comments wild little <laughs> niggas, bro. What you mean, gay? <laughs> <laughs> But what we're going to do today is we're going to clear our name and we're going to react to some of these comments. Oh, nice. So I have some of them. Corey already talked about some of them, but I don't think you guys know what the full picture is. So I got some comments that they talked about us and kind of disrespect us, but we're just going to talk about it and we're going to clear our name. So the first one comes from, should we say their name? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Tell them, shout them niggas out, bro. So first one comes from underscore Tiffany Joyce underscore. Oh, yup. I know her. She didn't want to, <laughs> she didn't want to say I ain't no black history. Yeah, I remember you, bro. She said, quote, some people put the bacon or the neck bones in. I don't see what the hype is, quote. Tell me you don't know black history without telling me you don't know black what history. What's wrong with you, Tiffany? <laughs> what the fuck? First of all, how does that have to do with black what's history? The cor- yeah, what's the correlation, bro? Like just cause I don't just because I don't like collard greens or because my I know my grandma put bacon and neck bones in her collard greens and I don't like it. That means I don't know my black history. I know the history. It's slave food, bro. Exactly. That's, that's all we could eat. I understand, bro. But now that's not that's, that's for me. I'm not a slave, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like the shit, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's just the, I'm saying, bro. I understand people. Back in the days, that's what we all we had to eat. But now we got more things to eat. We don't have to keep going back to it. I'd rather go to Elsa's. Give me some fucking oxtail with red beans and white rice, bro. I don't want collard greens, bro. The Come fuck? on, people. We know our black history. We understand. But, you know, at sometimes you don't have to keep going back. <laughs> yeah, bro. Niggas want, <laughs> niggas want to stay in the back of the bus, bro. I don't want to stay back there, bro. Like, I sit on the front of the bus now, bro. It's over, bro. <laughs> Yo, okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> deja vu. Deja vu. And this is why I said my deja vu. Oh, uh, try not to hit the, the chair again. Yeah, it's All gonna right. vibrate because we don't. We're still broke. Vibrate. You're freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so this nigga vibrate. Over so there. damn. Fr- this, after I said that, now read the. I seen it already. So read the comment. <laughs> so this is from Tor Taurus Thompson. What the WTF is these rainbows? We gay because we don't like collard greens. That's bro? what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, what you mean? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with y'all niggas, bro? Like, they, okay, I understand. Like, we have. An opinion, just like y'all have an opinion. Y'all might. There's people in the comments that said they didn't like watermelon. They didn't like KFC. I'm like, dang, why'd they go for them? That's crazy. Do you like watermelon? I mean, I'll eat it. I love watermelon. If it's there, it's bussing. I don't go out my way to eat watermelon. I'll get like if I, you know, you go to the buffets and you got the fruit. I'm I'll, not getting watermelon. I get like, watermelon. I'll get it if like like if let's say we had like a a cookout barbecue. Yeah, and they passing out watermelon. Oh, you won't go up and, and get some. Yeah. I'll, oh, I'll but get like it. if it's on the table, if it's right in front of me, I'll pick it up. Uh, but like, let's say if it's like at the end of the table, you won't get it. I won't get it. Wow, I love watermelon. I be I getting mean, it all the time. It's cool, but like you know, like how about KFC though? Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I rarely eat. I don't even eat KFC, bro. Not because I, I don't know. like it or nothing. I just for me, I don't go to KFC. I feel like there's not a lot of KFCs around us. I, I don't really see them much. I be seeing Popeyes. Popeyes. I, I go to Popeyes. I fuck up some Popeyes. Low I don't key, really see KFC though. Unpopular opinion: Jollibee is right behind Popeyes. The fuck is Jollibee? You never had Jollibee, bro? Bro, Core, we're gonna do a mukbang for the Patreon. Nigga want, nigga want me. Yo, you fat know, nigga, I love my stove. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, Jollibee is it's a Filipino fried chicken, but it's oh. fast food Filipino fried chicken. I never heard of. Bro, it. I'm telling you, it's, it's right below Popeyes, bro. That junk is buzzed down, bro. This dog is doing too much, bro. It's okay. She be she better go sit like Jay Jay calmer down. All right, the next one comes from Healing underscore from the heart underscore. She want to play or. Healing underscore from underscore the underscore heart underscore LLC. First of all, your name is stupid. <laughs> so whatever you about to say is, is, is irrelevant because your name is retarded. You still have milk breath. Nevertheless, <laughs> you haven't had good collard greens. Milk breath. I remember that comment. Milk breath is crazy. <laughs> milk breath is just ridiculous. Bro, what the fuck wild. you mean I got milk breath? I, Are I, you trying to say I'm still on the titty or like I just like white woman? I don't get it. I think she means our breast stinks. No, I don't, I don't think that. You don't think oh, so? Damn, you think she trying to say our shit kicking because we don't like fucking, <laughs> we don't like collard greens or my, my shit rocking? No, nah. it, might, it might be like we're kids because it says you still you still have milk breath. I think she meant we like white women. I don't think so. I it think she one, means like we're it kids. It was one in there that said, damn, I know they I know they date white women. I was like, damn. Free, really? Free J. You didn't see that one? No. It's like, it's like, it's like four of them. Like, yeah, we already know they, they date white women. First oh. of all, my girl... Is Puerto Rican. She's I was Spanish. waiting for you to. I was waiting. I didn't for, see that one. It's like it's like four of them. I kept I kept going really? past. I just thought those ones was funny. 
Wow. I thought you was gonna. I thought you. Was, I can't defend my honor. I don't got no <laughs> Look, hey, bro. I'm gonna keep going with that. That my girl is not white. My girl is Puerto Rican. She's Spanish. So don't even, mm-hmm. don't even get it twisted, people. We don't do that on this yeah, side. She's not a bunny, bro. Nah. So I got two comments. Somebody said no more cookouts for these two airheads. Ninety nine <laughs> likes. I see no ninety nine likes. I like, I like this I like, I'm, I'm, I'm probably ninety nine. <laughs> I'm like, it was uh, funny, bro. It was I'm funny. like, dang, we I'm not like, invited to the cookout. I'm like, fuck, fuck that. I gotta be an airhead. Cause I don't like collard greens. That's what bro. I'm saying. It's just, I feel like it's just the collard greens. They don't care. About, they, we said grape soda. We said um, potato potato salad. salad because they agree with the potato salad. But the collard greens is like, no, no, no. I mean, oh yeah, you can't. How, how dare you hit green? How dare you hit green? Like that's. All y'all eat. They're not from the south. I can tell if they're from the north. You, First of all, my family is rooted from the south. Both of my grandmothers grew up and they was born in nineteen whatever in Virginia. Both of them. So what are you exactly. talking about? And my bro? grandmother. My grandmother watched the Martinville Seven happen. Look that up if you if you really educated and you know your black history. Look mm. up the Martinville Seven. My grandma watched the whole thing take place. So yeah, who not from the south, bro? And Stop my grandmother. Playing. It's from South Carolina. She was born in the 1940s, and she migrated up here when she was young. And I still got cousins down there, and I have a big family down there that I don't even know about. I mean, I know about them. I just don't visit I them. might have a cousin in the NFL that's uh, related to me. I don't know. Because they, that South Carolina, Clemson, they might be playing football. I mean, I know them. I just don't. I don't play Oh, uh, it'd be like that. But, I, t- I told you what Cousin, cousin Boo did. Fuck oh, him, yeah. <laughs> I stole my bread, bro. All right. So now I have someone take the microphones away. No, nobody will ever take these microphones away because we have our own opinion. You think because you bought your check, you have you have uh, validity to sell it to That's take what our I'm microphone saying. away? You bought your fucking check, bro. Go get a fucking life. You're like 40 years old talking about take the microphone away, bro. Tanisha J. Tanisha yeah. J. 85. And my, and my mom hopped on your ass in the comments too. I seen that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you deleted the comment. Yeah, bum ass bitch. Now, my, my bad. That was that was wow. me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So now we have that was me. Eddie.scissor.hands with the Z. I noticed y'all kept. I noticed y'all kept saying they explains everything really, and then he, then he commented back to himself and said, "And y'all not not once a we y'all n words some half breeds." See, you're, you're, <laughs> first of all, you're an idiot. You're, you're first of all, you're an idiot because we're saying y'all as in referring to the people who likes collard greens, not black people, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I say we if I don't like collard greens? We don't like collard greens. Yes. Y'all like collard greens. So we're saying y'all as in do people who like collard greens, even white people that like collard greens. Exactly. Not not black people, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing, I don't like the half-breed thing. That's nah, crazy. I comment on one of them for half breed. I'm I like, think I have first, first of all, I'm not even a half breed, bro. I'm a half breed. I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. I'm seventy six percent black, bro. All right, you're mixed. But I'm, I'm a, first. I, of all, I don't know any of my mixed side. Okay, that is true. But you're still a half breed, bro. I'm not a half breed. You I'm are, like a. I'm like a three fourth breed. All right, <laughs> nah, three fourths breed. That's the same thing. No, it's not. What you mean, <laughs> nigga? Defending me now? You now you going against me? Because yes, you because you don't want Because you a half breed, bro. Because we are the new generation. <laughs> you have. We are the new, yo. You ever remember that one picture they had like when we was like in high school when they was like what the kids are gonna look like in 2050 when they're a bunch of light skinned kids with curly hair and blue eyes. We are the new generation. Bro. I got one too. I want. I don't know if you uh. You have it. If, if, I'm a look. I'm looking for it. I don't. All know right, why you look for that? Don't ever call me a mixed breed again, bro. Half I am breed. a light skinned man, bro. Half breed, not mixed. Half breed. I'm mixed, light skinned man. I am Filipino and black, bro. I don't care. Th- I am still black. This one pissed me off. I'm like, you really thought you had something, bro? What they say? Nah, you got more. Yeah, I got more. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna see if you if you get to it first. Okay, so somebody said. And I quote, it's giving they live off chicken nuggets, fries, hot dogs, and pizza rolls. First of all, you 50 years old talking about it's giving. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that. I, did I take, I took a screenshot of what she looked like. Her head was ginormous. I know. No, I already know who you talking about. With the one with the She got mad likes too. Yes. I'm like, nah, bro. She got like a, no, no, this one had one like. This is a different lady. Oh, so another person said that they had mad likes on their shit. Yeah, I'm like, nah, bro. Like, oh, you, nah. This one said it's giving exclusive chicken tenders and French fry diet. Oh, that's a man. Hey, that's hey, a man, bro. That's hey, a man. Yes, yo. yes, I know. He Mookie. He Mookie, bro. Hey, I yo. Want, I was about. I see Hold that. Hold on. I was about to say something. Mister, <laughs> Mister Maurice. <laughs> 
<laughs> my boy, you got other things to worry about than what we like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got a lot of issues. Hey, that's not an issue, but you got. You, hey, hey bro, yo, don't be coming to us because we could have really. I was. I seen that. I wanted to say something. I'm like, nah. I I, I wish I looked at his profile. The Corey gonna get on a burner. And burn. Oh yeah, hell yeah, I'm getting on my burner tonight, bro. <laughs> I'm frying this nigga, bro. I'm like, yo, and he, and he said chicken. I'm like, bro, chicken tenders and French fries is better than collard greens. Like, oh, someone said, just just a wild guess, but mom must be white. And my mom commented, no, I'm <laughs> black. Thank you. And yes, we can cook. He just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My mom is Asian. My mom is not white, and my mom could cook, bro. But she don't cook no collard greens because it's disgusting. That shit's nasty. That junk is nasty, bro. Oh, let's look, look at this one. Somebody said they probably didn't have a real grandma. Don't come. What the fuck does that mean? Don't bro? ever cover my grandmother. For, yeah, don't, don't come for none of my grandma. I think my mom commented on that one too. Cause my mom didn't like that shit. Yeah, there was one reply on here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's just, yes. He has beautiful grandmothers. Thank you. What the fuck? <laughs> there we go. That's my mom. My mom was in these comments arguing with niggas for real, bro. I was like, you got to chill, bro. But what dude said, two goofies, my mom said, and you make three. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we was really getting hackled, bro. This shit was crazy. And then somebody said, these ninjas grew up with white people. No, we didn't. Not one. I didn't go. I mean, I had, to, I had some white friends. I didn't, grow, I, didn't, I didn't have a white friend until I got to college. Wait. Julian? Julian? College. That was your first white friend? Anthony. Ah, okay. Anthony, then it was Julian. Shout out to Anthony. Shout out to Julian, too. I don't know if you're ever watching this, but Shout out are, to both of y'all and, and Julian. I still talk to Ant, though, but... I want to talk to Julian. I want to call him one day. Oh, somebody says, LMAO, it's amazing how people in the comments mad that someone else don't like what y'all like. Man, y'all are very funny. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think I like that one. Me, I was like, yo, y'all bugging, bro. That's like, what I'm saying. I'm like, why are they so angry? This is just an opinion. <laughs> yeah, how are you mad that I don't like collard greens? That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking, yo, I'm thinking, if we would have said something crazy like mac and cheese, okay. And one person said, oh, yeah, something about we don't like soul food or something like that. I was like, I never said I don't like soul food. I just don't like collard greens. It's so much other things to put on my plate besides collard greens that I could like from Soul Food, bro. Bro, it's just, I don't understand, bro. And then somebody commented also. This is actually a good comment. Somebody said, facts, black folks don't know what a veggie is if uh -huh. it ain't some damn I greens. That, one too. that is true. <laughs> they don't know no veggies but collard greens, bro. And maybe green beans. I don't know nothing else. Y'all don't eat no salad. Y'all don't eat no freaking tomatoes, no asparagus, no green, nothing, nothing else but collard greens. I hate eating soul food. Okay, that's crazy. It's a world of experiences out here, and we want to settle for greens with pork bones and beans and rice. Thank you to my brother, Chef, Chef Trill Presence, and he's a chef, bro. I seen the food he's making. He was making some busting ass food. Good food. It looks some good ass food. Yeah, I so bet I'm you like, he don't make collard greens. I bet you. You he don't know make what's no so collard. crazy? The the we, the shit came out. It went viral, mm -hmm. and like a day after that shit, my grandmother made potato salad and, and collard. Really? Greens. I just looked. at said, and I know she never. She didn't see it, bro. But it's just it's, it's just the irony. I was just like, <laughs> I was like, you fucking. <laughs> That's a sign, bro. But man, I just want to tell y'all people, it's our opinions, and we gonna continue to say our opinions. First no of all, I like what, this bro. comment too. From Goonie 707. I like this comment. This comment section is bar is embarrassing. How some of y'all can't spell. Y'all really cannot spell, bro. <laughs> like, god damn, bro. Y'all don't got autocorrect, bro. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> I'm trying to find this one comment that really, like, it was just... So it wasn't even the, the... It was just how stupid he was, bro. You trying to find it? We'll, we'll end it off on that one. Cause I, got you, I have another thing that we can go to. That's kind of He was like, oh, he was like something about... I can tell... I can tell everything about them by just the picture of they, one of their fathers. And I was oh, like, yeah, 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 I was yeah. like, oh, you fucking dumbass, but that's not our dad. That was, neat. <laughs> that was a random guy drinking soda. Was it a white guy? Yeah, it was a white guy you put in the in the, oh, uh, in the, in in the picture. The, but I was like, it was a random dude drinking soda. Bro. I know, I seen that too. Father, I think, did, Jay, did you comment to that? Or somebody, cause I couldn't see like who commented because I kept saying no on it because I think we knew it. It was something weird on my iPad. But I seen that too, bro. Y'all people. Yo, we're going to continue. Like I said, we're going to continue to say our opinions. We're going to continue to have these mics on because we can. And y'all going to listen because y'all entertain and y'all, I don't know, y'all think we funny regardless. But I have something else that's pretty controversial. This is so controversial, I can't even post the whole thing on YouTube. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to. So if y'all want to listen to the whole part of this, go join our Patreon. We're going to have the full episode on there. So I have worse things that happen to the black community. In we my opinion. We can't post this on YouTube. <laughs> nah, we could, but there's some things I'm not going to post on there. 
I'm gonna post some of the things I'm talking about on YouTube, but some of them you oh, guys we're gonna can watch talk on about it here. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it here. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing is a real tragedy that hit the black community hearts when D Rose Slavery? went down, bro. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Slavery too was really hard. Oh, I, I didn't know where he was going with this. We're bro. doing modern day, modern day. I thought, I thought we were talking about the worst. Shit. I'm like, no, no, nah, nah, not the worst modern day. Like as of today. I say it can't get worse than slavery. <laughs> I think Derrick Rose going down was really hard on the black bro, folk. I would, I would never. First of all, the black folk and went. It would hit me the hardest, bro. Yeah, that was your favorite player. That, still, what still you your favorite player. Stop, stop my fault, my fault. That's my bad. Me. That's my bad. Bro. I remember the day, bro. <laughs> I remember where I was at, bro. I was sitting in the barber shop. What was I? I was in uh, about 20, 2012, where I was. I was in eighth grade, mm -hmm. sitting in the barber shop, bro, waiting for my haircut. I'm watching the game because my barbers, my barbers had the games posted up in the mm -hmm. shop. I'm watching the game. It was up twelve for like a minute. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's over, bro. We got game one. Oh, it's tough. And I don't think the Knicks made the playoff that year. I'm like, yeah, it's no. tough. We got game one. I think we made the playoffs the next I year. I seen him. I seen the move. I watched. I watched the whole thing. It felt like it was slow motion for me. <laughs> he went down, and I didn't even know what an ACL was at the time. <laughs> but I'm like, damn, that looks bad. Oh. He's not getting back up. Like I'm like, yo, I'm like, get up, come on, D Rose, get up. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in the barber shop, like, like on 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 my hands and knees, basically begging <laughs> begging D Rose to get up, bro. And he didn't get up. I'm like, no, he getting. Carried out, nah, bro, not my nigga D Rose, bro. And then it came out that he was done, yeah, for the not for the rest of the playoffs, but into next year too. Mm -hmm. And then he, then he, he did a whole year, and then he did a half a year. I think he came back around October, no, like November, and then like played three games, and then got hurt again, tore it again. Man, that was the that was the that was a bad time, bro. It was hard, bro, and that was right before like. Te like the like a uh, pre med technology was like really good to where like like oh ACL tear oh that'd be good in like a year but now like back then there was that was like the that was like the peak not the peak but that's like the like before like the turning point where like if somebody if, get an ACL if, if D Rose got an ACL two two years later he'll be fine oh yeah he been cool he been alright he been just like you know when people be tearing the ACLs like freaking um. No, Russell Westbrook tore his MCL. Men, nah, meniscus. Meniscus. Um, but Zach Levine tore his ACL. Zach Levine tore his ACL. I mean, but he wasn't like... I mean, no, no. He was actually... He, he was, was cool. Bugging. He was bugging. He was still bugging. He was still bugging. But he don't play like D-Rose. I mean, he jumped still. Yeah, he, he jumped still high jumped, as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He jumped high as shit. He came back still dunking on niggas. Freaking, they... they <laughs> came back an all-star. They put some BS in D-Rose knees. People be getting... I don't know they, what they did to D-Rose, bro. Like, oh, for ACL tear, sometimes they get like... um They take your, a piece of your hamstring uh -huh. and then replace that with your ACL. Like, they make that your new ACL. Or they take somebody else's ACL, like a like a dead person. I don't know what they did to... A dead person is crazy. They do. Like, when they about to, when they pass away, bro, they take I the ACL. Want, so, let's say a 50-year-old a, a died. I don't want his 50-year-old ACL. No, but it's still a muscle. Like you still I don't want his, a muscle. I want a twenty. I want to give me. A, it's not even actually. It's not even a muscle. It's a ligament. It's just holding stuff together. Give me the twenty year old that dies ACL. I don't want that fifty year old ACL. I bro. guess okay. Or to get it from my hamstring, bro. I don't want that old ass nigga ACL, bro. But as you can see, it had a big effect on the black community. That shit. I still think about that. Shit. I think that's about that shit like once a day, bro. <laughs> once a day is crazy. I follow like hella D Rose fan pages. Whenever I see really? a D Rose post, I just be like, damn, what could have been, bro? Yeah, man. It's okay. I bro. love listening to podcasts when they, they talk about D Rose. I'm like, yeah, talk about him, bro. <laughs> let, me, let me hear more. How good was he? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's he's all ears, bro. All right, the next one, Forex. Oh my god, that was so bad. I hated Forex, bro. I hated Forex so bad. I remember when when P, in the PS5 first dropped, bro. Yep. And niggas was buying PS5, and these Forex niggas was really mad at us for buying PS5s. Oh, you buying a PS5, but you could be, you could have joined my PX90 1000 Eat My Ass Club and <laughs> you would have been rich and had generational wealth, but you settled for a PS5 that's make, gonna make you no money. Nigga, you shut the fuck up, bro. Bro, when I tell you that thing hit the community hard, these, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, they were telling me I'm gonna be broke. Yeah, I'm bro. Like, I'm like, what you fuck? mean? They was like, it was like, yeah, bro, you ain't trying to join us, man. I guess you like being broke. I'm like, bro, first I of all. I remember Mark was teaching Forex classes in my dorm, bro. <laughs> yo. I said, yo, what the fuck is going bro, on? Bro, they had the people. They had them in Airbnbs. They had y'all in the woods screaming at the top of y'all lungs. 
That's crazy. First of all, that don't sound weird to you. They're like, yo, let's go to it. We're going to have a meeting in the woods. Yeah, fucking pyramid scheme. Y'all dumbass niggas fell for that And y'all shit. fell for that. Y'all really, you know what, though? Some of y'all really made it out, though. The people on the top was making bread. Oh, hell yeah. But that's that wasn't... That, who you know was at the top? Nobody. I know I know one person. Oh, good for that, that nigga, bro. I, well, I'll tell you afterwards. It's somebody that we know. Jay Sean? No, no. Oh. Somebody, no, no. Somebody that's... It's not. It wasn't him, but like it was his family member that was on no. top, and that was the reason why he did it. And he, but he wasn't on top. No. Damn, free that nigga. Bro. Yeah, I tell you afterwards, but it's like, it's it's just it just had a chokehold on the community. Like that they shit. literally had the people really believe in like, okay, yeah, we can make it, bro. We, we can make get, it. We, we can, can all gener- make millions. We can get dollars. generational wealth off of it. get the fuck. Out like of think here. about it, people. You gotta think about it for real. If it was that easy, why well, isn't everybody yeah, doing it? If it was that easy, why won't everybody like? Like you just thought, like y'all thought y'all just. Or if sprung. it was that easy, bro, like why, like this shit, this shit gonna get regulated eventually. They are not gonna make everybody rich, bro. Like I will never trust the dude unless you unless you a rapper, you got you got famous, you got followers, whatever. I ain't never gonna trust the dude with them little small glasses and a fat chain. The uh, small glasses. The little they had them little shades. That was like it was like a square. It was like this big. Oh, the little the Quavo glasses. The little Quavo. If you're not if you if you're not a rapper, famous celebrity, whatever that I know of you, but you walk up to me with like a First big all, coo- Cuban wearing, link. These niggas are wearing suits, bro. Why are you wearing a suit, bro? You broke, bro. Take that shit back, bro. It was the fact that they were really, really, they were really pressing us. Yo, I got into an argument with one of our close friends, and girlfriends, bro, <laughs> because. I said Forex was a scam but this shit ass. And me and her was arguing, bro, to oh, the point when she started throwing suck my dicks at me. I was <laughs> like, what, bro? Because, yo, they really brainwashed like, them, bro. yo, suck my is crazy because I said Forex is a scam. Because you got to think about it. If we would have put our time and energy into something else, we would y'all would have been up. Y'all put it in the wrong thing. I should have put it in fucking Bitcoin, bro. Y'all niggas would have been up, bro. <laughs> For real. Like, I ain't going to lie. No, like foreign exchange is a real thing. But that company that they were joining, mm-hmm. it was the scam. Like, everybody trades. Like, that's a normal yeah. thing. Like, a lot of people trade. But what they were doing is, like, they weren't teaching. They weren't making money off the trades. They were making money off the people. Off the that people. They, I know. You had more people under you than you had people under you. Like, do y'all understand? It was a pyramid scheme. That's all it was. But, like, you know, it, it's it's crazy, bro. Like, you know, I'm a teacher. I'm going to tell. Like, this, that has to go in the history books or something. Like, there was, like, a black history but like, a modern day black history. That got going. Niggas, niggas is damn random. Like, come on, bro. You don't even know me, bro. What's up, brother? You ready for general? No, shut the fuck up. No, I'm not, bro. Yeah, bro. That's just crazy cool. work, bro. It's not for me, bro. That's crazy work. Kobe Bryant dying. Oh, Kobe. my. You, that one hit. Was you in Stones? You wasn't in Stones when that happened. Where was I? I actually do. I was in class. I was literally in you, class. I mean, no, no, no. That was when Pop, that was when Pop Smoke died. Pop? Nah, you couldn't be. Doc, Pop Smoke died at four in the morning, bro. No, but I got the I got the 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 I seen the the Instagram post when I was in class oh. at like nine at eight a.m. I'm about to say I know I remember it was crazy. I was up. Well, we, cause when we talk, we put talking about Kobe, but yeah. I, I was up. Pop Smoke's last tweet or post, right? It was like the Furina shit, and I was up when he posted it yeah. at four. I was up at four in the morning. I was like, this nigga Pop Smoke up. Yeah, feel me like randomly, and I went to sleep, and I woke up. They was like, yeah, Pop Smoke just got Pop Smoke was dead. I said, nigga, there's no way. Bro. I was just up. You feel like you was just with them, bro. At four, I, I remember the time, 4.41 in the morning, bro. <laughs> at 4.41 in the morning, I was like, I was just up. Because this nigga posted something, bro. That's how was he dead, bro? That was that quick, I said, bro. how, bro? He died, like, I think he died, like, what, five minutes later after that post? Mm-hmm. It was, I think, what, 4.41, he posted that shit. I think he died at 4.47. Crazy, bro. I'm like, y'all, he was, I was just up, bro. He was just there, bro. Last, I just went to sleep. And I just seen his post, bro. That's crazy, bro. bro Kobe died. That shit was that hurt. I re, no, I re, then hold on, let me set up again because somebody texted me personally and was like, "Yo, fix your fucking posture on the podcast. You're doing yourself a disservice." <laughs> De- Deirdre texted me. Again. <laughs> I was like, "God damn, D." <laughs> hey, yo, but I remember we was all sitting in Stones Beat. It was. I'm not saying the names. Fuck them niggas. Yeah, but. I was it was it was mad nigga. It, the whole basketball team was in Stonesby, and we were like, yo, Kobe, like, niggas are saying Kobe died. He was like, no, we didn't, bro. Like, no, stop lying, bro. Yeah. And we like all sitting there, and the, the, like the more more stuff started coming out, and then it was confirmed that he was dead. And bro, like I never seen a whole cafeteria that just get quiet, and like it really looked like a, it looked like a hella niggas just wanted to cry, bro. Like, bro, and then it made it worse. Like, so it got confirmed. And then, like, feel me, we all moped away to our dorms, feel mm-hmm. me? Me, Tyrone, went to our dorm, and we jumped on. I'm like, are you trying to get on 2K? 
we get on two K. What's the first thing that got they got the shit? They got the shit. Uh, the the R I P Kobe and Gianna shit with the dates. I was like, yo, this shit real. Kobe really dead. Bro. Yeah, bro. And then when we found out his daughter died with him, that shit. I'm not gonna lie. His daughter dying took the biggest L for women's basketball. Yeah. But first of all, she was cold. She yeah, was she was nice. nice. She was she gonna be was OD. Nice. You know what she would have did for the WBA, bro? She would have been in Caitlin Clark, bro. Oh, plus, and that, like you but said, Kobe's daughter. Kobe's daughter killing. That would have rose, bro. That would have rose the roof, bro. The WNBA was like, <laughs> they was praying. They was waiting. For they was like waiting for the day Gianna got was ready to get drafted, and her dying, bro, in that in that helicopter class crash, set back the WNBA. Like they lucky Caitlin Clark, but like Caitlin Clark wouldn't have been, would have been Gianna, bro. How old would she have been by now? So when she was 13, wait. When, she would have been eight, 17, 18. She would have got drafted like next year. Oh, no, no, no. She would have nah, been she in college. 20, she died 2020, right? Yeah. That was four she years ago. Been, she would have been like 17, 18. She would have been going to her freshman year of college this year. Wow, bro. That's so crazy. I was so sad, bro. Like, yeah. I like I didn't want to believe it for real. I didn't believe it until, like, I'm not going to I didn't believe it until, like, I think Shaq or somebody, po- uh, uh, LeBron, somebody posted it. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, this is real, bro. Bro. Like when or I tell TMZ, you, but I didn't, when TMZ was posted, I was like, I don't believe it still. Bro, I think this was like the most, like the the worst I felt. For it was Michael Jackson, Kobe. When Michael Jackson died, I was sad as fuck. Like I, but I was like nine though. So That's what I'm saying. I was like eight. I really didn't. Really, really, really I didn't count. really know. I knew Michael Jackson, but I didn't really like know no, I was, Michael I was, Jackson. I was Michael Jackson fanatic. Oh bro. really? I really, yeah, I really like, wasn't like that. Like I said, I was. He was nine. I was nine, so I don't know how real those emotions. Yeah, was. yeah. When Kobe died, like when celebrities eyes would be like, damn, like like yeah. King Von died, I was like, damn, I liked him. That was my favorite rapper. But yeah, like, it's whatever. Like, it's damn. whatever. It's like no. R.I.P. P and B died. I was like, damn, take off. I'm like, damn. Kobe died. I'm like, I felt like, excuse, I felt like nigga, my, my uncle my, died or something. But I'm bro. like, yo, Kobe died, bro. bro I ain't gonna lie, me, bro. I I really got into basketball because of Kobe, low key. No, nah, I got into basketball because of D Rose. No, I was watching. It was, I remember I was watching. It was 2010, and you remember how the you know on NBA TV they used to have the NBA Associations mm-hmm. thing, and it was the Lakers. That was they they had the Lakers about, one, yeah. and it was when they won I'll the championship. Not, my, my early memory, like I remember, I didn't watch basketball. Yeah, but I remember watching Game Seven when Kobe won the chip. And he threw the ball, or and uh, Ron Artest made the shot. Like when he played the when he played the Celtics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember watching that game. Yep, I remember. And I'm that. like, damn, this nigga Kobe, nice. Yeah, bro. But feel me, that's when I that's when I was like, oh, okay, like I don't really give a fuck about basketball still, but Kobe, nice. Nah. And then D Rose came. I'm like, yeah, hold on. I learned the I work like ethic from Kobe. Nigga, bro. I, I, I learned that no, work I'm ethic lying. from Kobe, bro. They lost. They, I, 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 I my first time watching. I remember watching basketball when the Lakers when the Lakers lost to the Seas. Two thousand eight? Uh, yeah. Mm. And then the next that's when I started watching basketball. That was D Rose rookie season. Yeah. I'm like, yo, hold on. Who is D Rose nigga, bro? I'm saying I'm like then then I was like, I right, hold on, Kobe. I was a Braun fan too until he went to uh Miami. Miami? Yeah. What if he would have went to the Knicks? You probably been That's up. why that's why I'm not a Braun fan. That's why I hate him now, because he didn't go to the Knicks. I mean, you I'm not gonna lie. A lot of that's my dad. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of that's my dad projected. My dad hated Bron because he didn't come to the Knicks, so I hated Bron because he didn't come to the Knicks. I mean, that's the same way I'm a, like a Giants fan, like my dad. You feel me? But with Kobe though, Kobe taught me how to work hard, bro. Like Kobe, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. When Kobe used to be in that gym, bro, I used to be like, dang, I'm gonna be just like that, bro. I'm gonna be in the gym all the time. But yeah, I was no, nah, I was in the gym doing hop steps. Until, I was so sad until, until I seen fucking D Rose towards ACL. So I ain't doing this shit no more. <laughs> Fuck that. Yo. <laughs> okay, the next one. Uh Dreads. This is Damn, I had dreads for a minute, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> because it's not it's not because it looked crazy. It looked great. But I'm just saying, y'all can't y'all don't understand what's gonna happen to y'all in a couple years when y'all dread up. Because after a couple years, y'all gonna your hair gonna start falling out and then you're gonna go bald. That's what happened to my dad. My dad had dreads. It don't happen to everybody, bro. I don't know, bro. No, I did. Think about stereotype. You sound like my dad, bro. <laughs> Nah, dress don't get dressed. You are gonna stink, and and because <laughs> you're, gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna look dirty, and 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 you're gonna be a bum. And God damn, bro, because this guy got dreads. <laughs> I mean, because some people don't know how to take care of their dreads. If you maintain your locks, that's why I had to get my I had to get rid of mine, bro. Mine's was looking crazy. I wasn't maintaining my locks, but mine. Was, I had to get mine out of here. But I feel like if it you, also pulls your hairline back. 
Nah, not it's, just, it's the same thing as getting braids. I know, but if you braid your hair more often, well, you should, but you know people. That's why people get you the, get the tapers. Get that's the what's tapers. saving them. I ain't gonna lie. Whoever yeah. came up with the idea is a genius. That's why people get the tapers before they they lock up. Yeah, that's a good idea. So that's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I had at the end of the list. I had the end of the list. I'm, I'm team dread, bro. I just don't got dreads. <laughs> All right, I was talking about this with Jay before, and I don't I don't believe it now, but I'm just gonna say it because I had the idea before. I said HBCUs. They, they tore us down. Not they didn't tore us down, but like I this was like a joke because all I know from HBCUs, the only reason why like the the black dudes went is for the girls. And the frats and the sororities. Frats and sororities. They don't got they did not go there for the school. I know so many people that went to HBC, HBCUs. And st- went for one semester, and now they're in twenty thousand dollars worth of debt. They didn't go there for no school uh, work. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I know a lot of niggas, but that's I, that's probably just college, though. I mean, no. how many people we know went to Rutgers Newark for one year? But like, at least you're in. At least you're paying in state tuition. You're if out I, of state. If cause. I didn't go to, if I didn't go to Rutgers, if I didn't go anywhere to play ball, I would have went to HBCU. You really? I went to I went to Delaware State. DSU. Okay. But you know, but like that's how much was it? You remember how much it was? Nope, for you? I don't care. Yeah, that was <laughs> bread, bro. But like, I understand, like I understand, like you know, we want to be together. But like at the same time, and then the fraternities, bro. I ain't gonna lie, fraternities kind of pushes back too. I hate frats, bro. Yeah, like you know, I hate them now. Yeah, I know you do. Corey tried to be in a frat. Yeah, fuck them niggas. And they did them dirty. But fuck, fuck them niggas. We go. We not gonna. I talk seen about. one of them in the club too the other day. I was just like, I just looked at them like. Wait, which one? <laughs> like one of the people that that was that was uh, pleasuring me. Was it the was it somebody I knew? Nah, I don't oh, know. okay. But I was just looking at this nigga like you used to beat my what's up now, bro. Like, beat my ass. What's up now, nigga? <laughs> like I, I feel I like I just gave him that. I was like, what's up, bro? Like, do you really get benefits from that? Like, I'm not in there. I don't know. But like, do you think like I? I you, think you just get connections. It's not benefits. It's yeah, more like I mean. damn. I, it's, it's damn. Like how long? I just graduated vet school. Let me see if there's another kappa in here. That is a vet that might want to hire me, but nigga, that shit don't go out like that. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking like, so if like, say like a Kappa like works for Google, the most of, the most it might happen. You get you get lucky. That's like having connections anywhere. Though. That's what you I'm saying. You can make luck- connections anywhere. You get lucky and be like, you fucking do an interview, and then you see the nigga got fucking his letters on his desk while you interview. Yeah. While you interview, and then you hit him with the yo, bro, I'm an alpha too, and he's like, oh word, I'm gonna think about you more. Like, yeah. That shit ain't fucking. That's crazy. No bro. Fucking I don't know benefits, who. I don't bro. know who created that. That's literally a cult. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all paying bread to go in to get beat up, and they yeah, don't get beat, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> my fault. They don't do that. You get. You have to pay bread to do all that, and to come out just. That's honestly. You're just paying for friends, honestly. Literally, bro. One. I said that to one of the niggas in the. Uh, that fucking in the comment section with us. He was like, "Yeah, these niggas are straight up fucking weirdos, rainbow ass or something, something." I was like. I said, nigga, you in the frat, bro. You got you paid to get your ass beat, dance, and fucking make friends. Hey, make friends with other dudes. I said, and where the weirdos? It's crazy work, bro. I pay y'all paying racks. Crazy, bro. Yeah, at least two or three. Crazy work. Um, uh, Russell Wilson throwing that pick in the Super Bowl. I ain't gonna lie. I said black people back. Yes, because oh, because Brady won, right? Because Brady won. And that would have, first of all, you had the Legion of Doom. You had all the black folks. That whole Man. Seahawks team was black. <laughs> that whole team was black. All you had to do was pass it to the the brother. Pass not it even, to the brother. Don't pass it. Nick, let, let Marshawn That's what I run. meant. Not pass it. I meant let him run. Let he's like, nah, let me run. throw it. And now that, look him at Him throwing that is crazy. I'm not going to think about that. He throwing the pick. And then it, them throwing it, and then the nigga picking it off is so crazy. That's bro. so wild. Like, like, that's, like so, that's, the, that's the best decision you could have made. Like, fuck the... Fuck, fuck you didn't run it. You threw it, and that's the best decision you made was you threw a pick. That was a crazy pick, though. I ain't going to lie. Like, he really had to jump that. Like, yeah, he wasn't but, like, a, like, like, that was a bad pass. It though. was a bad pass. It was Like, you pass. shouldn't have thrown that. It's like I'm saying. I'm not going to lie, though. I was, voting for, I, I was voting for Brady. I'm a Brady fan, bro. I was voting for Brady. I, hey, at that moment. Fuck Legion of Doom, bro. Look, the only person, the only people that beat him was the Giants. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. Oh, and the Eagles. Yeah, I was mad as hell when the Eagles beat him. I forgot. Dang, so Tom Brady would have had eight, eight rings? He would have had eight. Dang. So is you think Tom Brady's a gr- go to all sports? He got to be. Why gotta, Why isn't he? Hey, man. That's another debate for another time, bro. But the last thing I have that's the worst he thing He could for, still play, too. He just tried to get his family back. Oh, I know. That's so crazy. That's She sucks, left bro. him anyway for his yoga instructor. Shit's crazy. Crazy work. And took half his money. 
No, 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 no. no. She he didn't. Put, he put, put it on his mom. mom's uh-huh. name. Smart ass nigga. First of all, Giselle got more money than him. So I don't even know why she want his money. She a model, right? Yeah, she got help. She, she like worth like 500 M's, bro. Yeah. Because they, they being petty. You know how I be. But yeah. you know, he probably knew. That's what I'm saying. If he, he did that on purpose just in case like. Nigga put everything in his mom's name. That nigga is smart. He, that's crazy, bro. But last thing I want to talk about is uh, mukbangs. You know why? <laughs> As you want me to do one. <laughs> no, no, no. Because there's these pe- mukbangs and food content creators in general. Because I'm not gonna lie, y'all get y- y'all are just working your way to obesity so fast. Yeah. Every day y'all are paying fifty to seventy dollars for some eats and just eating all that food. Well, some of y'all not eating all the food. Some of y'all not eating all the food. But if y'all eating all the food, it's crazy work. Like I've like you you have you seen like the before and afters of mm-hmm. some people? Especially that Nicocado cr- Avocado. Oh that's, my god, that's the worst one, bro. I know that was, he was so bad. He was, he was he was like he was like skinny. malnourished. No, yeah, he was like skinny like like you. No, he was way skinny. Or squ- than me. Skinny like Jaden. He was skinny <laughs> as fuck, bro. No offense, sorry. Dang, bro, was, she's caught a straight. Nah, she's skinny, bro. That's good. Like I'm fat, bro. I'd rather be skinny like Jay, bro. I don't take. I'll, I'll take. What's the new uh, TikTok trend? What? Anything trying to go back. The way it used to used to be. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do anything to be fucking one seventy six again. <laughs> we saw we saw a pic- Oh, you smell it? I told you the bitch be farting her asleep. <laughs> that Ew. bitch be lighting it up. Bro. That's disgusting. That bitch be ripping ass, bro. But yeah, I'll take. I'll do anything to go back to. We to, seen a video of you. sophomore year for uh, sophomore year uh high school. No, beginning of sophomore year of college. I'd go anything to go back to that, bro. Bro, you could do that still. Nah, I'm talking about without the work. <laughs> like, bro, like literally, just go in the stepper. You First of all, I don't think I'll ever be 175 again, bro. That's. I think that was that was too skinny. How much you weigh now? Sure, that's not fair. Okay, Two, 225. That's not bad. <laughs> you said you seen an old video of me or what? Uh, playing in high school. Where at? It yeah. was in uh, for T neck. It was with the. It was like some Jacque. Was it? Oh, Dre. No, not Dre. The other dude. What's the little dude? Ja? Name? Yeah, it was his highlights, and I seen you set a screen for him. Oh yeah, that's pretty much what I yeah, did. Yeah, <laughs> got he got his misses. <laughs> Every time I got the ball, if he missed, and I got guys got the rebound. Yeah, I was watching. That. I was like, I, because me, it was it just popped up on TikTok. I was like, oh shoot. But yeah, bro. Oh, I nice. Think, I was on TikTok. Tough. Hey, bro. You on TikTok every day. I mean, you know. <laughs> but yeah, people. I was people, on TikTok hooping. <laughs> yeah. Nice. This guy's weird. But yeah, people. Mukbangs. <laughs> y'all got to chill out with the mukbangs. <laughs> oh, she did it again? Yeah. Nah, she be ripping ass, bro. So imagine that. Imagine that when you laying down this way. And <laughs> like, imagine you laying your head on the pillow right there. It's five in the morning. <laughs> she ripped ass in your face. That shit stink, bro. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, she shouldn't have gas. I ain't feed her today, bro. That's nasty. <laughs> she shouldn't have gas. I did not give her no food today, bro. Hey, bro, that's disgusting. Oh, free Gingy. All right, free yeah. Jay, bro. That shit stink. <laughs> you want some hypothetical questions, my brother? Yeah, let me get some hypies. So, I got a couple hypothetical Damn, questions. My, my fault, dear, bro. Oh, I think said I think he's about to go use the bathroom. Again. I was like, oh, no man. way. So I got a couple. So people now i got a couple hypothetical questions and then we got a couple on, good I, got topics more, I got a couple more things that set back black community oh go ahead uh, only fans um, oh that's a good tw- one 20 v1s oh uh, my gosh you're cooking up uh, you're cooking up you're cooking up we got i gotta go in depth on that go ahead um fucking kaisen that <laughs> wow that's <laughs> Riz, the, the fucking riz skibbity toilet all that shit <laughs> that set back the black community so bad bro um fucking now let's go back to 20 v1 bro 20 v1 is showing who the real weirdos are. Bro, I'm not even gonna the lie. The bitches that showed up to little RT's 20 uh, 20 v1 challenges are weird. They need to get packed up, bro. Isn't they he need, like 12? He's nine, bro. Wow, like that's and they crazy. going on. They going on there like like revealed sexy outfits, ready to shake ass. But bro. now imagine if it was it a was little a, girl. Yeah, and it's yup. Oh my god. That's what I say, bro. All the men will be going to jail. That is insane. I didn't even know that was a thing. You didn't know that they did that, bro? Nah, why is this not being And then they did another one where they brought men on and they had little RT swiping right or picking people to date his mom or some shit. Bro, y'all doing too much, bro. This nigga's a kid, bro. That's insane. Like a literal kid. He's nine years old and y'all niggas are exploiting him. Like, bro, bitches are going there with their ass out talking about, talking about, can you give me a, do a 360 for me? Nigga, you nine years old and you doing it? Wow. Oh, back up some court? My fault. My fault. I just got mad. Nah, I understand, bro. But and like you doing it, 
No, let insane. me get a let me get a three sixty for a nine year old. And they doing it, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's so bad. Like imagine in twenty whatever. 30, 15 years, you see your mom on a 20v1 with, with little RT doing 360. 360s. I hope they weren't shaking ass, bro. Nigga, they were shaking ass, wow. bro. Wow. That's so sad. They were shaking that's ass, so sad, bro. bro. That, that's, this is the stuff I'm talking about. Like, y'all, y'all, we're not progressing in life. We need to progress. That shit is What bad. happened to the people? Sexy that Red is the- setting back black woman, bro. <laughs> but she came out with a lipstick, lipstick brand. And the names is like gonorrhea and like Ugh. a bunch of like STIs and STD. Like, why are you being? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying your hardest to be disgusting? Like, <laughs> That's nasty. you're just trying your hardest to be fucking nasty, bro. That's <laughs> like why? Like, I, I'm I'm a, nah, I bet you her pussy stink, bro. <laughs> I bet you it do, bro. Like. Like, Yo, why are you like? Why are you trying your hardest just to be a, a nasty? I didn't even know that was a thing. That's bro, gross. Uh, has, and she, fucking, uh, the NBC sh- NPC shit is sending us sending us back, bro. Yeah. Fucking, oh yeah, when they're on the, the Rose, IG lab. Rose, it smells so good. Fucking acting like Spider Man. Like NPC Miles. Ma- NPC Miles Morales. I want to see him in real life. So I could beat his ass. I want to. I want to walk into one of his streams and beat the fuck out of him, bro. <laughs> I hate that nigga, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah, we need to progress, people. Where are the inventors? Where are the doctors? This shit, this shit is terrible. Like bro. now, now we just want to be content creators and streamers and stuff. Where, where are the kids that want to be doctors? Like, of as course, we, as we want to be content, as creators. we want to be. But like, <laughs> uh, but like, granted, we are fortunate enough to be at a platform that we are right now. But somebody, like, of course, if you want to be a content creator, cool. But at the same time, you gotta be true to yourself. I feel like a lot of, like you said, there's a lot of people that want to be content creators, but they're not acting like themselves. Yeah, niggas is, be fake, niggas is faking a person. That's that shit, weird. That's just the worst. To that's me, bro. weird, bro. That's that's not gonna get you far enough. You want to get far in content creation, podcast, whatever. You have to be yourself. Me and Corey have these conversations normally, whenever we talking to each other. You know what I'm saying? It just so happened that we have it the same on a microphone, but with we, the camera. If in there's our no face. camera here, we'll still be talking about the same shit. Exactly. Probably a little worse. Yes, <laughs> probably a little worse because we gotta don it down for YouTube. But at the same time, like you guys gotta stop trying to like like I think speed. The speed mentality that some of y'all have is not like y'all speed. And that's that's crazy. He normal, bro. He a normal dude. He normal shit, bro. But that's just how he. That's just, because there's some people that are just normally like that. Like Jordan was the same way when we were younger. But now he just got famous off of that. But now y'all think he's just now y'all want to be like that, and it looks crazy. And I just it's hey man, it's just I don't know. We need to progress in life, people. But. I got some, like I said, I got some hypothetical questions and I got some good topics and stories to talk about with Corey. But before that, we got a commercial. C-Geek. We'll be right back. It's not CQ. We Price actually got picks. a prize picks commercial. Shout out to prize picks. We'll be right back, people. Prize picks is probably one of the most fun and exciting sports fantasy apps on the market right now. I was able to win 10 times the amount of money that I put in. Prize picks is very simple to use. All I got to do was find my players, make my picks. Submit my entries less than 60 seconds and I'm good to go. Whether you're a tryhard or you're just a person that loves watching sports, you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 with a click of a button. And as of July 31st, Prize Picks is now offering a new promotion for new users on the app. If you use our code NOREGULARS at sign up and you place $5 in for any picks or entries that you want, you will get $50 deposited into your account immediately. Use code NOREGULARS, that's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S, at sign up. And place five dollars in for your first entry, and you will get fifty dollars back instantly. People, that's N O R G U L A R S at sign up. Code no regulars. Shout out to Prize Picks. Let's get back to the podcast, baby. Gangsta. We're back from our commercial. Welcome break. back, people. So we I got. Hope you, I hope you did whatever Prize Picks said. Exactly. So we got a hypothetical question. So Corey, if you can have five liquids be dispensed from your five fingers on your hand. What liquid would it be? And it's an endless supply. So but I'm, I'm, I could drink it. You could drink it. Do it. Whatever liquid. So it's each finger is a different liquid. Five liquids. And it's like, it's, it's not going to be nasty, right? Because it's no, it's, my it's, it's your, it's whatever you want. Like whatever you want it to be, it's going to mm. be the best what it is. All right. So water. Water coming out your thumb. Yeah. Water okay. coming out my thumb. Yellow Gatorade. Ooh. Okay. Um. Yellow Gatorade. The blue Kool Aid. Blue Kool Aid. Um. Damn. What do I? 
let me get a, uh, a let me get a Pepsi. A Pepsi, okay. And then I gotta get something something good. Hold on, I need I need I need the milkshakes counts. Nah, I don't want a milkshake coming out my fingers. <laughs> Cause that's too that's too readily available. Like I need something. I need something like I need something like. Matter of fact, let me take one out. What I said. I you said, said uh, you said uh, water, water, yellow Gatorade, Gatorade, Gatorade blue Kool Aid, blue Kool Aid. That's the only unhealthy thing I'm gonna keep on here. I mean, I'm lying. I'm about to put some more juice on here. Oh, the uh, tropical punch, tropa, uh, Tropicana, fruit punch. Nah, tropical punch. Tropical punch. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, let me think. I need, I need, I need one more. Any liquid. It don't even gotta be drinks. It could be any liquid. So I can put like oil on. <laughs> you want? Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Cause the way I look, what I look like putting, I could actually do that. Put like my finger in the gas tank and just have gas coming out my. That's my what finger. I was gonna do. No, I don't want to do that. Cause what if I accidentally like I'm sleeping and I hit the hit the wrong button and it comes out <laughs> my pinky. Uh, and let me think. Uh, let me let me get a uh the blue, the blue uh, the blue raspberry uh minute maid. Okay, out of, okay. Out of my five fingers. There so, you go. So I like that. But what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to take water with my thumb, but like with my index finger, I'm going to pick gasoline. Yeah, that's smart. That's, because that, it's that's, free gas. Yeah, it's smart. You should, free that, gas. That's smart. You should have did that. I'm going to pick, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna, For my middle finger, I'm going to get, uh, what's it called? Strawberry, either strawberry lemonade or it was like a blueberry lemonade. Okay. One of those. Uh, some type of lemonade. I want. I want to. Sm- I'm gonna get a mixed berry smoothie coming out my index finger. That's nice. I li- that's too much consistency coming out my finger. I don't I, like that. I, I'll take that. Just you know, pour it out in the cup real quick. And my pinky. I think I'm gonna go with. I was gonna say mouthwash, but like. That, you know, just buy some mouthwash. Why you gotta do all that? Bro? I know. I don't really I like need that's that. Weird, bro. That's, that's weird. weird. Yeah, I don't, don't need do that. that. I don't, don't need do that. that. I don't need that. Um, I'll do. I'll do another drink. I'll do a. I do a um. There's a raspberry ginger ale. A raspberry, I know what you're talking about. Raspberry or cranberry ginger ale. That junk's rocking. That junk's rocking. No, oh, bro, I'm telling you that. Yo, I seen that question on on TikTok that some dude pick uh, put me onto the gasoline. But imagine, I just go nah, like that's this. it's smart. You could just feel me, t- and then you do a little shake with your finger, and then I just take a sip. But. Uh, you see, but what if you do like this by accident? Like, now, yeah, and you're cooked. Now yeah, you're dead. Same. But like, you got to know your fingers. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not responsible enough to, do, to have gasoline in my finger. Ah, okay, okay, okay. You know? And then what if I'm sleeping? I, I'm start, I start leaking. Like, oh, leaking by accident? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> and then somebody light, and then you gonna blow. Yeah, up. and I'll blow up. Yeah, it's over, bro. <laughs> All right, now I got another hypothetical question, people. So, Corey, would you take a hundred million dollars? Yes. A hundred million dollars. Yeah. No taxes, tax free. Yeah. And as much fame as you possibly want, so uh-huh. you can be as famous as you want. You cannot be, you cannot be famous, but you get a hundred million dollars and I the fame. I, know, I think I know the question. Finish it though. But but you must get a boob job. Oh what the fuck! And a BBL. What the, I did not think for that, one year. I did not think that's where this <laughs> is going. What the fuck for one year? Oh this shit that just took a turn. That's crazy. Yep. Um. So you get the money and the fame up front. Uh-huh. But you will have to have you have to get a boob job and a BBL for one year, and then after that year you can get it removed. Are you doing it? Yeah, I'm just sitting in the crib for a year. Are you gonna sit in the crib yeah, for a year? You're not gonna see me for a year. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna see me for a whole year. What if somebody sees you on the outside? Like you, just, you go outside. I'm not going outside. You're not leaving for the crib. A, no, for a whole year I'm just chilling. In you're the not crib. gonna see nobody. Like no. I have a year. No, I have a hundred million, bro. I'm not leaving the crib for a year, bro. You're not leaving the crib for a not year. Not for leaving the crib. I, I think, bro. yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm doing a disservice to myself and my family if I don't take that money. But yeah, I'm, bro, Nick. I don't want to walk out and then be like, oh, look here, train. <laughs> and then I walk And then I change a year later and I, Then a hoe's not gonna love me bro. That'd be crazy You walking by Something like damn And then they turn around as you That's, that's crazy. what I'm saying You get cat called. That's what I'm saying then I, Now when I get rid of it The hoe's not gonna The hoe's gonna remember that uh, I'm, not, I'm not leaving the crib For a year bro That's, that's old, fine bro damn, I got 100 bro. M's bro I'm not leaving the crib For a whole year I'm Just staying in the crib Yeah Dolo Gaming Dolo. Uber Eats All mm-hmm. that That junk is crazy I got 100 M's. Why am I leaving the crib for it, bro? You got some cushion, though, now. 
I don't. I already, first of all, I already got questions back there. I don't need no this more guy questions. is so mook. But that's so mook. But I thought you was gonna ask me. I thought you was gonna say, so let's. You get a hundred M's. You get a hundred M's. All the fame you want, but you have to. You you will lose all the relationships you have in your life currently. Oh, so nah. you have to basically you get the money, but you have to start over. Like all the relationships you currently have in your life, you 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 they they you're cooked. Would you do that? Fuck y'all niggas, bro. Yo, what? <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas, bro. I wouldn't do that. Taking the bread, bro. So Fuck are, you, are you including your family? Fuck y'all niggas. Really? Fuck them niggas, bro. I'm what? taking the that bread, is bro. Great. I make a new family. <laughs> I can't do that, nah, bro. I don't, I don't think I, I can honestly do it. Nah, that's crazy. But like, it's gonna be tempting. I'm gonna be like, oh, I can't. <laughs> you be like, can I, can I keep five? You be like. <sighs> Can I keep five people, please? Five people, please. Five people. Five people, Max. Five people, Max. Nah, nah. Like, please, one. My mom. My dad. Please, please. Can I, can I keep... Jay, can I, please. Can I, oh, you want, all you want is three? I take... He yeah. said, fuck, Libby. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah. said, fuck, Libby. <laughs> but no, nah, I would never do that. I don't think there's no amount of money in the world. I don't think world, I could do bro. it either. That's crazy work. If people do that, that's, that, that just shows like you either was just very lonely or you're just a little psychopath. Crazy work, bro. But, okay. I got a, I got another question. I just thought about this before you got here, Corey. So you got excited. I got so excited. So I'm gonna paint the picture for you, my brother. Paint that shit. Wow, that's that sounded very weird. Yeah. You say you've been stranded. You are you have been stranded on a deserted island. You row in a boat. You there's a storm, crash land on a desert island. You are by yourself. By yourself, you think you're all alone. You have all the resources on the island with you. You got weapons on the boat. You're all good. You can survive on that island. But as you're going through that island, you find a woman. Mm -hmm. You find a woman. You guys fall in love. Mm -hmm. She is the love of your life. She loves you. Unconditionally loves you forever. Not possible, but sure. Okay. <laughs> but as you guys are enjoying your, your time, God was like, nah. He curses. He puts down a curse mm -hmm. on you. And now you have to make a decision, right? He's going to allow both of y'all to leave this island in two years, but your woman is now turned into a fly. Mm -hmm. But you get to choose. It's her head is her. She has the head of herself, but the body of a fly, or she has the body of a human, but a head of a fly. Either way, I'm leaving her. Oh, <laughs> either, yeah. way, either way, she's cooked, bro. Like we getting off this island, but like, feel me. I'm just going. I'm gonna do you. I'm gonna do you. A, uh, a, a a service. I'm gonna give you the the body of the of the woman and the head of the fly, just so you could live a normal life. But like we're we're not we're cooked, bro. So you're gonna take you. That's freaking. First of all, that's scary as hell. Imagine. Yeah, but what, would you rather be a fucking big ass head with a fly? Like you gonna not a big head, but like say she's a she's the size of a fly, but with a normal with a human. Oh, head. so no, nah, I'll give her that actually, because then she'll die in like three weeks anyway. <laughs> So yeah, I'll wow. do that one. So I, like, feel me? Like, I'm not gonna let her. I'm not gonna let her walk around. She farted again. No. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna let her walk around in like misery. With a, so. Let's say hypothetically, she can live those two years. She still yeah. Go ahead, go fly, go see the world, bro. But she's so you just gonna let her go? Yeah, bye. She the love of your life, and bro. if she if you don't come the back, the most the perfect girl. Like she's with you. She don't she's a leave. fly. She not perfect no she more. She don't want to leave you, bro. I I might I might mistake you for a different fly. I might kill you, nigga. Leave. <laughs> don't come back in here, bro. I can't tell the difference. But you have flies. to. So you gonna you just go, so you gonna take her with the body of a fly? Yeah, bro. Go ahead. Go fly. Go travel for the next two years. What if I say you have to be with her in order to leave? I am gonna put her in a bottle then. And put her in the jar. Let her, well, let, she died, bro. You gotta she, make sure she live. I'm gonna kill her, bro. Why are you gonna kill? Either her? way, she's cooked, bro. Like, really? Or I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm like, yo, here, just fly around the house. But like, we're done. Like, <laughs> like, but but she, oh wait, I forgot to tell you. As of two years, she turns back normal. I mean, yeah, it's cool. She still want to be with me after she turned back normal. Then oh, so good. after that fly stuff, you're like, nah, I'm cool. I mean, yeah. I if, she, if she want to be with me, then we could probably think about it again. But if she think like, oh, you're a piece of shit. You ain't love me when I was a fly. Like, you damn right, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. bro. Hey, bro. That's funny, bro. Cuz said, nah, just go fly in the wind. Cuz said he's going to kill her. <laughs> I'm, I'm working her, bro. Like, feel me? I'm not going to have this guilt 
weighing over my head that I gotta love you, bro. Fuck you, I'm killing you, bro. Sick, <laughs> sick world we live in, people. Sick you a fly, but you shouldn't want to live like this anyway. Pretty ass fly, bro. Go ahead. Let me but she'll love you your in the jar, she'll bro. love your life. You're the girl, your dreams, bro. And if she love me, she gonna, she gonna let me go. Yeah, she do love you. If she really love me, she gonna let me go and she gonna fly. She's just gonna. Oh, though you are letting her go. Yeah, she gonna let me let her go. Fly. <laughs> Yo, where's doing? she gonna fly to? Nigga, she could she has wings, travel the world, bro. How she is not first of all, a fly cannot travel from an island to the freaking coast. Go of the world. go sniff some poop and then just go in wherever the maneuver takes oh, you. Oh, so you're just gonna be fine with being alone. Yeah, fuck that bitch, bro. <laughs> wow, that's crazy, bro. Hey man. Hey, at least you're honest, bro. That's crazy work. I'm that's... Sitting there making love to a fly, bro. Have you ever seen a fly's face? Or I fly's body? I was hoping you didn't pick that. That'd been crazy. That shit is disgusting, bro. That, <laughs> I know. Imagine a fly head on a freaking woman body, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's, that's scary. disgusting, bro. Nah, that's, and like, don't they have like the long, like the little? Yeah, and then, and then like, it's like imagine, dripping. Yeah, imagine she slipped through and they try to lick me with that. Shit. Like, go ahead, bro. Fuck. That's disgusting. Go, go, go for travel. Okay. Oh. I have a question. This question is sponsored by Prize Picks. Use code No Regulars. If you put five dollars in, you'll get fifty dollars back automatically, bro. Use code No Regulars for Prize Picks. Shout out to Prize Picks. We have a question for y'all. So, Corey, I am giving you a hundred thousand dollars to enter in to win, like win more money back on Prize Picks. Not Prize Picks, but I'm giving you a hundred. I'm giving you a hundred thousand dollars. Give me the top three NBA players you would enter your money with or bet your money on. And the and the top three players you would never touch. So coming into next season, I think John ja Morant is gonna have the big season. So I'm putting my money on John ja Morant. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, can't go wrong with the Joker, the Jokic. Okay. I'm putting my money on him. And fuck it, hometown hero, nigga. Let's go, Br- Jalen Brunson. That's the three niggas I'm putting my money on. Okay. For next season, all the time. And the absolute niggas I would not put my money on. I like can't you say, would. I can't say niggas. I mean, I'll blurp it out. Okay, but like that, you can't, like you're not, you're not even gonna touch it. Even if they had a 50 point game the day before. Ben Simmons, mm. he's cooked. I would never bet on Ben Simmons again. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Do I, I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna give him another chance. I was gonna say Zion. I'm gonna give him a chance this season. You gonna give Zion him a chance? Been ho- he be home with me though. Really? Zion be home with me. Okay. Okay. Pascal Siakam. Really? Not touching. Matter of fact, I got a whole list of people. Matter of fact, <laughs> Let me. You got it written down. Yeah, right? bro. Don't hey, don't touch them. That's that. They're they're they're, they're damn near terrorists. <laughs> terrorists is insane, bro. Let me read my list. How many people is on that list? There we go. Pascal C- Pascal Siakam to Booty Harris Tobias Harris <laughs> J- Jalen 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 uh Brown was. Ooh, a little burpy. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown was holding me for a minute, but wow. I think I think he's gonna be on a revenge tour next season. Okay, okay. Um, Spencer, Spencer Ben Shitty. That nigga's <laughs> ass, bro. <laughs> Not Ben Shitty. He's Ben Shitty, bro. <laughs> Dar- oh, Darius Garland was so ass last year. Really? Can't can't do it. Uh, oh, thick nigga Lowry. No, no, Kyle Lowry. Yeah, nah. He's he's. You gone. got Paul George on there. I, I might put him on there, bro. I can't do Paul George. Paul George, no more, Paul bro. George been home. Paul George be home, bro. Mm. Oh, Miles Turner, he's cooked, bro. Oh, Mikel Bridges, you know, last year he's a Nick this year, but last year as a net he was unbearable, bro. He was garbage. Wow. Oh, Jordan Poole, I want him to have a good year next year, but he's on the he, list. He's on the list. Oh. Freddie Van Fleet. Oh, he's on the list. He's on the list, bro. <laughs> Clay Thompson. He's on, he's on the, the list, list, bro. <laughs> he's on the list, bro. So yeah, going to next season, I'm going to Bias Harris, consistently buns. Yeah. Spencer Ben Shitty, <laughs> and uh, Ben Bumass Simmons. Oh, we never bet on them. People ever again. If you use our code, no regulars. If you oh, the price and picks. Bam out of the bio. Bam out of bio. I would not bet on you no more, bro. <laughs> you do the opposite of whatever, whatever I need. Hey, man. Like I said, people, use code no regulars at checkout if you're new to Prize Picks. Shout out to Prize Picks for, for sponsoring our podcast. Like I said, code no regulars, N O R G U L A R S, for 100% back on any order over $100. And we have it. There's a new special. Like I said, if you put $5 in for your first entry, you will get $50 deposited into your account. For any more entries and picks for prize picks. Fifty dollars from five to fifty dollars automatically win or lose. Use use code no regulars. That's what I'm talking about. 
And Corey, before we get into the stories, I got one last game we can play. I like games. What kind of games do you like? Interesting. No, you, let me. I don't expose you. What? What you sent me today? No, let me expose He's a you. He's weirdo. Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, can you name the top five likely end in the world scenarios according to Chat GBT? So like, I gotta put like zombies, like shit like that. Uh. Something like that, yeah. So basically, what I did was I asked Chad GBT, what are the most likely apocalyptic scenarios that can happen in the world today? No. So, yeah, if you want to go, what so, do you think is the number? Pandemic. The pandemic? Uh, virus outbreak. That was number three. Uh, zombies? No. No zombies. Uh, obesity? Obesity is insane, but no. Oh. Oh, move the mic over a little bit. What do you want? Uh,. What you got? Uh, nukes, you? nukes, nuclear, nuclear warfare, warfare number two. Nuclear warfare. Uh, you sure BC not on there? Nah, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, we're gonna figure that out someday. Um, I can't say enough. I'm fat, so I'm so I can't get canceled. Yo, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what you got? Reg- regular war? Nope. No. Nope. What apocalypse, bro? Apocalypse. Uh, cannibalism. No, but that that no, I don't think there's going to be cannibals. Oh. Think about you know the weather. Oh, hurricanes. No, not hurricanes. It's a little bit more earthquakes. A little bit more tornadoes. A little less specific. Global than that. warming. There you go. Extreme climate shift is number one. Mm, that makes sense. Now you got to think about uh, think about how the world progresses. What happens in the world? Like what advances in the world? AI. AI technology is number four. And you I got robot. one last one. I robot. Yep. And you got one last one. Think of something that we cannot control. No, not, the, not, not those people. Oh, okay. We can't control them. We though. can control them. Really <laughs> I don't think you can control them. I can control them. I don't know what you're doing to control <laughs> them, but keep that to yourself. <laughs> something think that we can't control. We can't control. If it ever is to happen, we just have to pause oh, take it meteors yep of an asteroid coming to earth mm-hmm. is the next one and i ain't gonna lie bro chat gbt is really scary because you if you you know if you buy like the 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 extended version you get, get way more stuff it don't don't you could they, don't it develop its own like intelligence yes so it, it thinks for itself like i'm saying like it gives its own opinions and stuff like that so i don't know there's a especially as time gets more like progresses like think about it from now, from where we are now in 2020, we grew like a lot. I'm telling you, I robot's about to come, bro. I just hopefully, hopefully, there's a good robot like an I robot, bro. That that's trying to help the humans flourish, bro. But I want. I was talking about apocalypse or Age, or Age of Ultron, bro. Nah, that happens. We're cooked, bro. We're cooked. We don't got the Avengers. <laughs> you never know, bro. I think we would have seen one of them. You think if I right, so LeBron? That's the only Avenger we got. Yo, if they ever. If they gave out superpowers, uh-huh. but you had to like go through like extreme training, very intense pain, like like some Deadpool as long, type as stuff. Long as, I don't, as long as I don't end up looking like Deadpool, I'll no, do it. No, you're not going to look up like Deadpool, but you got to go through intense training. You got to do that stuff, but you, all you got to do, you could just sign up, and you, but you have to pay like a like a small fee, like 5K. I'll do it. You would do it to get some superpowers? Yeah, but as long as I don't end up looking like Deadpool, though. Yeah, no, no, you're going to look yourself. Like, can I get like good? Like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to be like... Captain Underpants or something. No, no, like. no. You'll get like you'll get a specific power, but like that specific power has a specific amount of steps. So like super. But strength, I I know what power I'm signing up for. Yeah, you though. know what power you're signing oh, up okay, for. Okay, yeah. Like I don't want to get like. Oh no, no. It's not gonna be a random super, power. Super 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 stretchiness. No, no. You're not gonna. It's like you. There's a power here. Like say it's super strength. You have to do this. Mm-hmm. You have to pay this amount. You have to do this. Like and you, you watch, go you, through this. You watch the boys. Yeah, literally like that. Did, did you watch like uh? The diabolical series, where because you know Compound V, like you get a random power. Yeah, basically. you get a random power. Yeah, and you know how they get the they get some people they get the the trash powers. Yeah, and they do had the dude that he, he had the boombox head. <laughs> he only could play one song. <laughs> Wait, that was a cartoon series. Yeah, bro, I literally watched it, but I had it like in the background. I didn't nah, really you gotta attention. watch that shit, bro. It was funny. <laughs> they had they have an episode where they dedicate. I'm not gonna spoil it no more. Yeah, they have yeah, yeah. An episode where they dedicate like uh. People who ba- got bad powers, yeah, and like how they <laughs> just got terrible powers. Like, really? I like, got only thing I was I was, I was spoiled is the dude. He 
He a big ass brolic dude. He has, he has a boombox head. You know he can play one song. If I get that power, I'm killing myself. <laughs> nah, nah. Wait, so he can't get rid of the boombox head? No, he has a, his head is a boombox. He only can play one song. He can't talk. Oh. He only can play one song. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's evil work, bro. But I want to spoil one more. He's a dude. He can turn into any animal, but he can't like control like Beast Boy. Yeah. So he gets the intelligence of that animal too. Oh, so, he's so if he turns into a snake, he actually turns into a snake. Like he doesn't, oh, like he's he not. Doesn't, he's not. Himself. Yeah, he turns into an actual snake. But and how just, did he turn back? He after a while he turned back. Oh, so he might be stuck there. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be stuck for like an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. So, so he gets the intelligence of the animal. <laughs> wow, that's actually trash. But that's kind of re- that's why I love the boys because it's very realistic. I like the boys. That's why I love the boys. Great show. I'm a I'm gonna make a comic book like that one day. But like I said, invincible. I think hmm? call it invincible. Yeah, all right. I already got it in the books, people. Don't worry. Oh, I thought he was gonna use the bathroom. But like I said, so you would do that. Like you would pick a superpower, mm-hmm. and it's like say. You have to do this. You get like you have to get this amount of treatment. You have to go through this training, and it takes this amount of this this amount of time. Like sometimes, like say if you want to get like telekinesis, like mind control power, that might take ten years. I'll do it. But like super strength might take six months. I'll do it. What would you pick? The one that takes a year. You would take the one that takes a year. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing telekinesis for ten years. Like what's the mo- what's the longest amount? Unless can I unless can I start can I have started in like 2015? What do you mean? Like, go back in time? Yeah, like, if I, I'm not starting, right? Like, I'm not, like, what am I doing 35 with telekinesis? Like, I don't... I mean, no, like, you're right now. Like, it's now. Yeah, nah, I just, I'll do whatever, whatever, whatever it takes a year. Yeah. I feel like if they, they come out with that, that'd be fire, bro. It would. That'd be fire. I but, like, I'm not going through another 10-year training to get telekinesis. That's low-key a good-ass, that's a good show. Oh, damn. You just... I just came up with a good idea. Don't steal my idea, people. Yeah. Cause I know some of y'all be watching this podcast. Y'all going to get inspired. Do not. You better you better, you better uh, cut this out then. Nah, I'm... that's a good idea, Matt. That's like a, that's like some, that would be like a good anime, Loki. Right, so you had to be gay and turn into an anime. You don't like anime? I mean, I don't like it. I mean, you know me. I'm not really the big anime person. But like, I would try to watch it. I just can't do it. Too much. I don't really know Japanese. I don't really know. Like, but it, like, honestly, it looks cool, though. It looks very cool and like eye appealing, but like you don't really like stuff like that though. No. Like, do you even watch like the DC animated stuff? Like, like Batman. Like, oh yeah, I watched that. Like Wolver, I, I just finished watching Wolverine and the X Men, like I the cartoon that. version. Like, you watch that though. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. That's not anime. That's cartoons. I know, but like that that's American style of like anime is like Japanese Japanese cartoons. cartoons yeah. Yeah, I don't want to watch anime. I want to watch the American shit. So you think if anime was in English, you would be okay with that? Maybe. I don't like the art style though. I don't like that. Like, oh, you know how it looks? Yeah, I don't like how it really? looks. Really? Uh some of them look kind of good. Like I ain't gonna lie, like there's some that look decent. Like what art style do you like? Like how it is in like like with like the like young the Justin? Boondocks. Oh, the boondocks? I like that. That's basically like it is. anime. I yeah, know. Then what's the It's black. Okay, that's why okay. This <laughs> Hey bro. You you can't you can't change them all, bro. But I got a couple of score stories to talk to you about, Corey. And one of the one of the stories is something that I think uh, you're gonna like talking about because this has to do with um, what we were talking about earlier with the caves and stuff. Mm. So I got a couple stories. But the reason I was talking about the I got pot- a story too. Oh, you do? Yeah. You want to talk? Oh, I'll, I'll talk about mine first. And what is a true crime story? A word? Yeah. All right, we can talk about it in a little bit. So I have. So I was talking about the apocalypse because I was I seen a video about how there was a book. There was a book that predicts the end of the world, mm-hmm. and they're predicting the end of the world in a couple of years. Actually, I think in two thousand thirty-three. Sure, hurry up! You just want the world to end? Yeah, bro. this guy's sick, bro. So, so right. There was a book called "The Prophecies of the Pope," and mm-hmm. it was basically a book that they found in the Vatican. You know what the Vatican is? Mm-hmm. So, in the Vatican archives, there was a book called "The Prophecy of the Pope," and in that book, it like details. I think it was like um. They found it over like 500 years ago and it like predicted every single Pope that ever became like the Pope, like from the, I think 1153 till now, okay. which the, the Pope now, his name is Pope Francis. His name was in that book. So they predicted it. But the thing is, they said Pope Francis was the last Pope after Pope Francis is the end of the world. Right. But then he's going to die in 2033. I don't know if he's gonna die in twenty twenty because he's pretty old now. Yeah. So that mean I don't know if that means he's gonna, once he dies the end of the world is or he's gonna he's the last pope during the end of the world. Mm-hmm. But they said in that book, uh, Pope Francis is gonna be the last pope and that's when the world is gonna end. Like that they say judge they call it Judgment Day. 
Mm-hmm. So, so then I think there was a place, I think a church or whatever, like a really famous church in Europe where they have all the Pope's pictures lined up. Like, it's like, you know how like the presidents, they'll have, they'll have like all the Pope's pictures lined up in like the little Coliseum, whatever. And you have Pope Francis picture up. And then right next to it is one last like, like space left. And there's nothing else after that. And they said that whenever that space is filled up, like I guess there might be one last Pope, mm. that's when the world is ending. And it's crazy because a lot of them predicted like the world would end in like, uh, like um, in the book, they said the world's going to end in 422 years. So if you do 422 years, when they said that in the book, I think it was like half the halfway point of the Pope's. It was like 1585. Mm. If you do 422 plus 1585... Or I forgot what the number is. It adds up to like 20, 27, 20, 33 or whatever. And they think that's when the world is going to end. I don't know what that means. Like, and it's weird too, because it's like, I don't know if that means that's when meteors come down, the freaking plague's going to come out. But it's a weird thing because um, I remember I was watching, there was like a CIA agent that was saying like 2027 is when the aliens is going to come out. Hey man, hurry up, bro. Do you want to say, hey, I've been telling you, up, bro. bro, I've been telling you for a minute, like the freaking step by step. Because mm-hmm. remember, remember in the start of the year, bro, start of 2024, that's when the freaking the uh, alien in the mall, aliens right? in the mall, whatever. Bro, I seen a video like uh, yesterday. There was like a bunch of, there was like UFOs, like landing on like the beach. Like there was like lights and stuff. It looked mad weird. I think it was like in California or like. Uh, Hawaii, and then there was a bunch of like UFO pictures and like videos going around in, like in like Florida. So I don't know what's happening, but so what he was basically saying, right? It was a ex CIA agent. He's been working the CIA for like twenty five years or whatever. I think he retired in two thousand nine. His name was um, what was his dude's name? His name was John Ramirez, and he was saying that the government believes that in two thousand twenty seven, that's when the aliens are gonna come down and like you know reveal themselves, mm-hmm. and. It all started in the 40s. That's when the Roswell crash happened. You know when the Roswell crash was? So, in 19, I think it was like 1947. That was like the first... There was a there was a UFO crash in Roswell, New Mexico. Mm-hmm. But they co- the government covered it up and said it was, a, it was a weather balloon. But supposedly, it was actual like UFO. And that was the first time that uh, the aliens like showed themselves to the humans. Like we found out like there are aliens, supposedly. Mm-hmm. And I guess... He was saying, like, that was when we took their aircraft and then we started, like, re-reverse engineering, stuff like that. We took their DNA because there were still bodies in the crash. And it's it, it's kind of weird because after that crash happened, they started making movies about aliens. Like, nineteen in the 1950s, that was, the, that was when they first started publishing movies about aliens mm. because he believes that the government was using is using it to, like, soften, soften us up a little bit to the fact that there are other beings that are way smarter than us flying around because think about it if they never said nothing about aliens if you, we never knew what an alien was and they came down looking like that it's going to cause like a big yeah, ass panic panic, panic it's attack it's still going to cause panic though it's still going to cause panic but it's not going to be as bad especially now they they have it on the news channels and stuff i feel like it's not going to be that crazy and especially since they said it's they are real or the ufo's is real i don't think it's going to cause like mass like like a uh, hysteria or whatever but i feel like like he was saying, like they had a plan to, you know, like desensitize to it with either m- movies, uh, maybe like the little abduction stories. Mm. They make it more frequently. Like they had made a deal with them, so it's like you know they are more, so we're more accustomed to them. So now when we see, like if I see if I see an alien right now, of course I'm gonna be scared, but I'm not gonna be like, what the hell is that? Yeah, I know what it is. So I feel like it's more of like the fact that. It's just making us, like, normal to it. And then, like I said, this has all been the plan. The plan was they are gonna sh- they showed us movies, and then people get abducted, and then they're going to start putting it on the news, and then they're going to say, oh, aliens are real, and then they're going to come down. And then eventually, because I feel like, I'm not going to lie, I feel, they've been saying that pe- like the aliens been walking amongst us for many years because I guess, you know, what they can shape shifts and shit. But I don't know about all that, but I don't know. Do you believe in that stuff? I believe there's aliens. I believe they're gonna come one day. Do you believe that they walk among us? Yeah, probably. Like, they say like there's some that could walk down the street and you'll never know. Yeah, probably. It's just there's probably some animals that are aliens that we just be like, oh look, it's cute, it's a dog. Meanwhile, it's a whole fucking alien. Low key, 
Might be like that with like octopuses and stuff. Yeah, octopuses. They play. They say octopus. They think octopus are aliens because they're kind of weird, right? Yeah. We was just talking about it, what before. And they're about smart eels. as shit. Mm-hmm. We was talking about before with eels and stuff, mm-hmm. and how like eels don't they don't know where they came from, but they just regenerate themselves. But would you like honestly, right? Say hypothetically, we don't know if this is true. This is all from word of mouth. But he is the guy is like an actual CIA agent that's been that's part of like a giant freaking one of the biggest companies in the world that deals with stuff like that. If if he's true, 2027, on the news, Channel 7, whatever, alien hovercraft lands on the White House, what is your first thought? <laughs> About time. About time? Like, would you be, like, in, like interested in it, or would you be like, ah, I'm mad scared? No, I'd be like, About time, just don't come to Jersey. Uh, I, I just think, you know, I feel like it's going to be, like, a culture shock, because we've, we're have we so used to being at the top of the food chain. Mm-hmm. Like, it's going to be weird feeling like, nah, we're second. I'm like, I'm like, hope them, hope they nice, bro. And like, feel me, but prepare to be obliterated. I know, right? And like, he also said that he thinks that aliens been here like longer than us. Mm-hmm. Like, and they are, they are the ones that help like create like I believe that. human. Because look at the pyramids and all this other shit that we can't recreate. Mm-hmm. How the fuck did that happen? That's what I mean, I'm saying. Well, like with niggas that didn't have, they didn't have the, the proper, like they Tools. had, yeah, they just had sticks and stones, bro. And they just putting stones on top of stones. Giant stones. That's and they, bigger than that's the same yeah, as this room, bro. And they and they building extravagant shit. Exactly. Tell me five people was like, uh You know what they try to do? They try to say it was like they use like water to move the thing. But there's you know how much water that you need to do that for real? Shut up. The alien was like They're in the desert. Where are they gonna get the water from? The alien was like zip 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 zip. They probably carved it out. And also they And then it aligns perfectly with the stars, with the moon or whatever. And then they we have some it's like and they also say we have like I talk about this all the time. They got pyramids in Egypt. They got pyramids in Japan. They found a pyramid in I think it was Poland. It would look like a mountain, but because it was covered with grass, mm. but it was a pyramid under it. They found some in the water. They found some in Mexico. The Great Wall of China is crazy, bro. Like that come on. that actually kind of creeps me out. I don't get that because that shit is a wall around China. Bro. It's a wall around China, but like you know where the arrows are supposed to shoot at? It's mm. pointing at China. Oh, so it's like. It's not, it's around China, but say if like that wall was like still like up and like it was guarding something, mm-hmm. like it's pointing in the direction of where China is. Like, like, like say like we build a wall, right? And like, I understand what you mean. You know what like, I mean? I'm like, shooting this way. I'm shooting, the, I'm shooting on the inside instead yeah. of the outside. It's like, dang, like what if like. But my thing is, what was that wall really going to do? That shit is so long that like. If somebody hopped the wall 13 miles away, you're not going to see it. Exactly. But like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, what is the point of building that wall? If Especially, of course, like people build bridges, uh, other walls and stuff. But like, what are they trying to get out, like keep out from whatever whatever it is? But that little ass wall ain't going to do shit, bro. That's not a little wall, cuz. That the, is, the shit long, but that shit, you can hop that shit, bro. You cannot hop the Great Wall of it China. Look like you can. Let me bro, see. that junk is tall as hell. Let me see. That junk is over the trees. No, it's not. What? <laughs> Yo, what? Look up the height of the Great, Great Wall of China. Let me check this out. Oh, I. I yeah, like, I, but like, it's tall, but like. How tall is it, Corey? Say it for the people. It's tall as shit, but like. Wait, what's the, what's the height, though? I don't know. I ain't look at the height. I'm just looking at pictures. Two, oh, it's 25.6 feet. This shit is 13,000 miles long, bro. Yeah. That's OD. That's OD. That's OD. You telling me humans built that shit? No. No, we didn't. I don't know. But I just, like, if I got an army, bro, and I'm invading China, what is this little ass wall going to Like, this is a little ass wall compared to if I have an army. This yeah. shit little as hell. What this shit going to stop? But imagine, though. If you put like Do people you, even keep up maintenance with this wall, I mean that's what I'm saying. How did it not erode yet? Like people, how there's not parts that's falling there's people over. People fixing this wall, I doubt it. There's people that you know how long it takes to run that thing. Thirteen. Th- that, hold on, that's across the whole United States. You know that, right? That's longer than the whole U.S. How long? How long would it take? I think it would take you months to go down that whole thirteen thousand miles, bro. From here to Cali is four thousand. How long did it take to build the Great Wall of China? 2,000 years. It took 2,000 years to build that shit. Yeah, fuck out of here. I'm saying, bro. And a lot of people think, like, uh, he was... In the Ming Dynasty. I remember learning about this shit in history class. Look at you that remembering. Crazy. Look at you remembering, bro. But you get what I mean, though? Why would we, why would we learn about China? What, you, what would you want to learn about? 
slaves, black people. <laughs> this guy's sick, bro. This this is the mixed breed why, y'all talking about. Why I had to why I had to learn why I had to learn that shit myself, or I had to go to BYO and after school to learn that shit. What's B what? What's BYO? Stand black for? Youth Organization. I forgot about that. You know why? what my dad did? My dad used to teach me on Black History Month. He used to make me write uh papers on certain people. Like Malcolm X, like the Tuskegee Airmen, you know the Tuskegee Airmen. Take, is? Yeah, I know. No, it's, nigga, it didn't take. This didn't didn't they make a uh, movie? Yeah, Red Tails, right? Red Tails, yeah, great movie, was, great movie. This should take eighteen movie. months to walk that shit, bro. Yes, imagine I'm not walking that a shit. A year and a half to walk a freaking bridge. That was that was kind of move. I'm not going. How's that move? I'm you drinking just water. that shit, bro. Like you just put your whole mouth on that shit. Why are you licking your lips at me? Because I'm thirsty. Yo, because that's, you want these um, Velveeta biscuits? Nigga, what flavor is it? Oh, yeah. But. My flat nigga, yeah, I love my stove. But yeah, bro. I think he was saying that. Uh, no, it hasn't been. It's never been this bad. What's, what's good with this shit today? It's, I don't know. It's just you, bro. I think you just. I don't know. Maybe because I'm you're not used to up. sitting up. Yeah, you're not used to sitting up. Sitting up. But. He was also saying that he believes that the aliens were the ones that like rerouted our DNA from monkeys. <laughs> it makes sense though, because how the heck you think we just evolved just straight from the chimps? No, monkeys. Or the monkeys? You think we just like over time we just turned? I mean, into... aliens. Aliens did that shit. A oh, god. Know. Oh yeah, that, nah. I, somebody did it. Somebody did. It. I don't know who it was. Definitely God though, but I don't know, bro. I just think it's just a weird. A weird scenario. If that ever happened, like I feel like you think in our lifetime we're gonna see aliens. Like, Hope so. you think so? You, do you think so, or are you just hoping so? I think so. I think so too. I think we were like fifty. Mm. We'll see. We're like fifty. I think so too. I feel 55. like fifty-five. It's just the fact that you know our kids are gonna be scared. We're gonna be dead. <laughs> oh no! Nah, I, I think they're gonna be normalized. I feel like they're gonna start like putting in the textbooks. Maybe something big is gonna happen though. I don't know what it is, but something big is gonna happen where it's gonna be like, oh shoot, they're gonna put that in the freaking book. You want to zap right somebody? That'll be od. Imagine the first thing they come down, they just zap, cause I was like, damn, we we'll cook. cook. Nah, we <laughs> cook, bro. We cook, we cook, bro. Nah, bro. But oh, I got a story to tell you, my brother. Wipe your mouth before you said that. Hey, yo. Yeah, I had water so, in my mouth. Mm, I gotta tell you something. That was gay. No, you mook, bro. Why you gotta think like that? That's what you did. I know, but like, why? Why you had to think about you it? it? Nah, but like, you thought of it like in a mook way. I see. I seen gay. I said gay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy, bro. But I got another story to tell you, bro. Cause I remember you was you text me about the caving stuff. Yeah, shit, crazy. So have you have you watched the videos I sent you about the caving? Uh, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That caving stuff, I would never do it. Did you? The bro, best thing about it is you don't gotta do it. <laughs> but like. Imagine, right? Imagine like you're stuck somewhere. You had to go through a little gap to I'm, get out. Are you going through it or are you done? Like I'm stuck somewhere? No, like say you're like in, you're trapped in like a little like a like in a basement. I'm already caving? You're already ca like you're, yeah. No, no, you're already, no, you're not already caving, but like just say like something happens, you're going underground like as like an excursion or whatever. And no, then the I'm rocks not doing climbing. it, bro. No, I'm not doing it. I'm oh, you're not around. Going Oh, you're not going around? Oh, I got to go under there? I got to squeeze? and go No, 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 no. no. You not have to squeeze. But say you go on vacation, right? Mm -hmm. And you do an excursion and you have to like, you're going, you're not squeezing underground. You're just walking underground. Yeah. But something happens, like a landslide happens and you're trapped and there's like a little hole you have to climb, crawl out of. That's the only way I was just a little hole you got to crawl out of. Would you do it? I mean, yeah, I got to get out. So you would do it? That's my only way out. Yeah. I'll be so scared, bro. Like you got to really like, that's a mental battle, bro. What do you think is worse? That or like free diving or like diving? In general, caving. you think so? Because it's just so it's unknown, but like free diving, you see what you gotta do. You know you gotta pull that shit. Do it. Yeah. The caving shit, you don't know when you gonna get stuck, when you gonna hit a tight corner, when you just gonna get fat out of nowhere, and, and you have to breathe through your take all the air out your lungs and take it out your chest and expand. Like that shit's just too much, bro. Yeah. Like the John Jones shit. I've been I've been really watching the. the like I've been studying this nutty putty cave shit, bro. Mm -hmm. I've been watching the movies. I found all of them on Facebook. I ain't messaging them, but I found every all the family on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, Yo, that was some weird shit. Oh my gosh! I just, I just, I just want to know what's, what's going on in their life now. That was traumatic, bro. I know it was crazy. I want to go. I want to go to Utah. Can we? Let's plan. Let's plan a trip. No regulars to Utah. To Utah, and we can visit John Jones. There's a lot of there's a lot of weird stuff in Utah, actually. The 127 hours happened in Utah. Is that the, the one where he got his arm trapped? Yeah, yeah. He cut his arm off. Yeah. The Gollum Cave happened in Utah. What's the Gollum Cave? The shit. The people fucking went into it. So it was a cave. 
it was water. Uh-huh. It was like an underwater cave. Yeah. So you get in there and you swim about like 15 feet and mm-hmm. then you come up and there's like a little air pocket, like feel me about maybe like the size of like, so it could fit like five to six people in there. Mm-hmm. And like feel me, people were just sitting there and party real fast, like get lit. But the shit got bad air. So when you like, you have to get out of there like within like five, 15 minutes and then you swim under. But you swim under is a, is a lot of people miss the entrance mm-hmm. and the shit is so narrow where let's say the person ahead of you missed the entrance like your cook we mean like miss the entrance like let's say like you like the the shit's so narrow like people like the entrance is like you can you can get it confused you might swim past the entrance to get oh, out the cave oh so if that my one gosh. person misses the entrance i can't get past you cuz the shit is that narrow oh so like one, say Oh my God! Like say so like let's say let's say you you the lead and you get lost and like let's say you fucking because it's underwater so you get lost and you fucking drown and I'm behind you I cannot get past you. Oh my God! I'm cooked. People got stuck. And one they people four four friends went in there two girls two guys and one dude was like Nah I'm not going in there uh-huh. and they went in there. They went down there, and the girls. First of all, she's dumb because she went in there once and said she passed out. So are they? So you had to be an experienced diver, or are these guys like? No, people just the cave was just open for anybody. Oh really? Yeah. It's that tight, like you like it's like like squeeze it like this. I mean, probably not like you probably got enough room to go swim, but you don't got enough room for a person to pass by you. Oh my gosh! So they went in. They got into the the spot. But like I said, the air is bad. Yeah. So like you would pass out in that shit, and the shit only like three feet. Like not like three feet of air, like like of of like so you probably stand into your chest. Uh huh. So like feel me, if you pass out, you gonna drown. Yeah. There's nobody in there. Mm-hmm. So they was in there. They like, alright, it's time to leave. The girl went down, and like she was swimming, but they 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 didn't keep the rope. Instead, they was like, ah, right, this is the entrance. We're not gonna miss it. Cause you, you go down and you swim, you pop back up to the entrance. Yeah. That's how you get out the cave, and then you get into the cave. So it's like different little holes in there. It's one hole. It goes like so. Like you jump in, you go swoop, fifteen like fifteen feet, and you go up into the air gap, and then you go back and pop up through the hole. Yeah. But there's a past the entrance is another like maybe six feet that people miss it and go into that six feet. So she was swimming that she was swimming back, and she missed the entrance. And like panicked and they couldn't find it and drowned. And then like the other girls, like, okay, like now it's my turn. And then she went, like swimming, and ran into her dead friend and was like, oh fuck, I can't get past her. And she drowned. Then another another dude went in and was like, all right, my turn. Ran into the other two dead girls and was like, fuck. And you can't turn around either. So you're a cook. You got to go one way. You can't, but you can't even crawl backwards. You can't crawl, I mean. How much air you got? You're going to drown, bro. Oh, my God. It's about 15 feet. You're so they, drown. Were, they all just got stuck in there. And then the, the last dude went and was like, let me ran, ran into the three friends, and they all four of them drowned. Wow. And yeah. then after, and then the, the dude that was like, I'm going to chill back, he was like, damn, they're taking mad long. Uh-huh. Let me call the police. And then they, like, sucked the air. They sucked the water. They drained the water out. Yeah. And then, like, went in there to get them and found all four four. For them dead. Wow. And then they filled the, the cave with concrete. So no one could ever do it again. They should honestly, bro, that's just that thing is so stupid. You know how I many people Yo, bro, like I would never do something like that, bro. Like I remember oh, yo, I got a story actually that's all oh, that's just in Utah. Really? There's a lot of weird stuff in Utah. I would mm-hmm. go out there, but uh, they kinda scare me. But there was a story that I heard. It was it wasn't like caving, but it was like a freak accident, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, so there was a I forgot I don't know where the place is I remember I was just watching on YouTube like in the background but I was just listening to it there was a there was a guy he worked at a water park yeah. right and you know he's security at a water park nobody's there and he just kept hearing screams mm-hmm. right he just kept hearing somebody scream he thought the place was haunted you don't know what was going on somebody was just screaming it wasn't like a scream like a ah, it was like a it was like an echoey type of thing like it was mm-hmm. like something was like like containing the scream but it was going out like this right so mm-hmm. he didn't know what it was and he kept trying to look around, look for look people in the pool. Maybe somebody jumped in the pool and drowning. Nobody's like everywhere. He thinks the place is haunted. He's scared. And he just goes inside, right? The whole time, there was a dude. He was smoking meth. He was high out of his mind on meth. And you know, like the water slides that go around like this? Mm-hmm. Like they go in like a circle. You know how there's like a pole in the middle to like hold the structure up? Yeah. And it like little poles out. So I guess he was playing on the slide. 
and like it was like um the pole it's, it's hollow yeah he fell into the in the oh. in the in the hole in the in the pole mm-hmm. like this and he's like this and yeah. he can't get out and it's it's in during the day i think he got stuck there throughout the nighttime and it's not now it's the morning i think it's like Arizona, Arizona, he can't or Texas. Be upside down that long. No, he wasn't upside down. He like fell in through his feet. Oh, but okay. so he's standing there. But it's a metal pole, and it's hot outside. He's getting cooked. Yeah, like he's literally getting cooked alive. Uh-huh. And he's trying to scream out, but he nobody hears him. And that's what the guy was hearing. The guy was hearing him scream. And then they figured out, oh my god, he's down there. And the whole time they're trying to get him out, but like they try to throw a rope down, but he can't grab it because yeah. the way I don't think the it's like the way. Oh no no. Cause since he was on meth, he was so weak, uh-huh. and he's been in there for hours, so he couldn't. Oh, move the the thing on my phone. He couldn't. Um, he couldn't hold on to it. So every time they pull him up, he's just like, "Let's go." Mm-hmm. And so they had to call the freaking fire department, everybody, and they had to take down this. They had to take out the slide and try to cut it open, but it was already too late. He died, bro. He died in that freaking pole. God damn! Like imagine, cause it was just and he was getting. It was a metal. Imagine how hot it was in there. He yeah, was getting cooked, was getting baked, bro. Oh my gosh! Like I was like, that's a terrible way to die, bro. And I seen another one. It was a freaking guy. He worked at a um grocery store, and I guess he, I guess he was on top of the you know the fridge aisle or whatever. Mm. It was an old grocery store, and I guess he dropped something like something rolled under there. But yeah. he was, I guess he was being dumb. He went on top and he tried to grab it. And he fell. He got stuck. He got stuck. And he's trying to scream out for help. But the the um the 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 unit, the little the the fridge makes like a humming noise. Uh-huh. So they can't hear him. And for he was stuck back there for 10 years until oh I guess I, until I guess they found his body when I guess they sold the supermarket mm-hmm. and they're taking all the fridges out and they seen his skeleton back there. Oh my and he's God. just like upside down like this, his feet up, and he's like crunched in and he couldn't get out, bro. That's terrible. That's so... Oh, my God, bro. Like, that was probably... I, I would be... He's trying so hard to scream. And you're upside down. Like, that's just that's so cooked. bad, bro. That's cooked. That's so bad, bro. Yeah, nah. This, the Nutty Putty got me like a, really a whole cave hole. You know about the Nutty Putty, Yeah, right? I know about the Nutty Putty. John Jones. Jo- you watched the movie? I watched the I movie. I never watched the movie, but... Last just in the movie, sad as fuck, bro. Is it really? Is I mean, like, it's just, you know... What was... That was in Utah, too? Utah, bro. I mean, all this shit's in Utah. They, I mean, they do got a lot of caves in Utah. He he he, he hit the. Uh, he was supposed he was supposed to go into the, the birth canal. And yeah. He made a wrong turn and went to something called Ed's Push. And then he fell and in. Then it was like a a corkscrew. Like they had a corkscrew. Like they had a a, a part of the cave where you get to called the corkscrew, and he went past. He went like. Went, it was it underwater? No, that one. No, was no, that underwater. wasn't. Yeah, yeah. But he went past. Like the like where he went, no one has ever went past that part. Uh-huh. So he was an unmarked like territory. Territory, yeah. and he kept going. Hope that he thought he was in a birth canal. Yeah, and then he seen like a like an opening, and was like, "Oh shit, this must be the birth canal," and tried to squeeze through it, and he got like I'm, he got stuck, and then like feel me like like they couldn't pull him out because like he was upside down. He's mm-hmm. like at a seven degrees angle, but like, and then they almost got him out. And the the pulley broke, and then the put like pushed him right back into the cave. Mm-hmm. That shit's sad, bro. I know. I thought what I thought what happened was I thought he was crawling, and he, like he, like you said, he was doing like he was in like places that he never been before, mm-hmm. and he fell into the hole. So he was he was crawling, and then he's seen. I they don't, it's unclear what really happened, but they think he's seen the hole. Yeah, and was like like a, they call it a fissure. And was like, oh shit! Like this is this must be the entrance to the birth canal because mm-hmm. he thought he was in the birth canal the whole time. Yeah. And then he was like, alright, this must be the entrance to the birth canal. Let me get in here because oh, that's where he thought he was at. Shoot. And then when he went in there, he was like, oh shit! This is the this is nothing. Yeah. And then he got stuck and couldn't like back up. Oh my gosh, bro! Like I ain't gonna lie, I think I'm trying to think. Have I ever been in the cave? I ain't gonna lie. There was a place I never been no cave. I never been nothing like that. I like to think I'm delusional enough to think I would have got out of it. That's what I'm saying. I don't but, think I would ever. I would never put myself in that predicament, bro. But like you know, caving is actually like a real like mm-hmm. hobby people, for people. People were, were mad. Hold, on, I gotta pee. I've been trying to hold it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. People, we'll be right back. We will have a commercial break for you. Corey is going to use the bathroom again. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U 
L A R S, all caps at checkout, will save you $20 on your first purchase with SeatGeek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports, they have music festivals, they got concerts, and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to SeatGeek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, SeatGeek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get we different than regular regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on, let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. We're back, people. But yeah, like I said, we there's a lot of people that look at like caving as like a real hobby. Yeah, people that that shut down the nutty cut muddy putty cave. Mm-hmm. People was mad. Like, damn, bro, you shut down the cave because one stupid person made a mistake. Dang, like, really? Like, yeah, like that was a national treasure or or whatever. People love. I mean, your landmark. People like they were saying like. 5,000 people or more was going there a year that the explored a cave. I mean, I guess. I, I like, the nigga mean. died in there, though. I like, know, like, why would what, you want to... Why would you want to go back? Yeah, why would you want to go... Like, first of all, if you go to the... Bur- like, you want to pass his body. Yeah, I know, he's still probably stink, too, like... I mean, nah, he probably... Did. How long ago was that again? Like, 10 years ago, maybe? It's still going to stink, no? I mean, if... Probably, deca- probably decayed, or... But it's not, like... It's not... It's, like, moist and humid in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's probably, like, still... Oh. Uh, and then think but about... But then they fill it up with... They blew up this section. They like they dynamited the section where he got stuck, and then they 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 filled the cave with concrete. <sighs> Sad, bro. It's just you know, like like me, right? I like exploring. I like exploring. If I me, gotta squeeze. If or, I gotta do anything that I can't like, cool, cons- like I feel constricted, I I won't do it. I gotta <gasps> put my head in first and put my arm. I'm I'll cool. never do. I'll never get that far. I'm I'll cool, ne- never bro. get that far, or I never do nothing with heights where I got climb up stuff. If I just like I like hiking in the woods, all that cool stuff. I like looking at nature. I'm, I'm doing that, but it leads me into one of the stories I have for you about there was a there was a not a famous YouTuber, but there was a YouTuber, right, who went missing after he went into one of these one of these caves. Hmm. So he was basically like he did he did content where he did a, you know he was he was like an explorer, and like did hiking content. He posted on YouTube a lot. It was mm-hmm. in 2014, whatever, but. He discovered one cave, and once he discovered that cave, he never they never seen him again. Like he disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to him, and like they made a lot of conspiracies about it. So the guy's name was Kenny Veach, and it's like a famous story now because he lives in Nevada, mm-hmm. and so he was he was hiking around Nevada, and he found a cave, and he said the cave was very weirdly shaped. Like he said it was shaped like a per like an M, like a perfect M. Yeah. And he said when he went into the cave, he felt like vibrations throughout his body. Like imagine like like say like 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 you know when uh like a big truck goes by, like it vibrates. Mm-hmm. It was like that, but it was like uncomfortable. And like he didn't like that. And like he just felt like and he still explored it. He didn't explore, but like once he got in there, he, it got wor- every time the more he stepped in, the worse it got. So he got out of there. Mm-hmm. But he record like he didn't record it, but he was telling his like his followers, like, yeah, what of an experience or whatever. And he like described where it was. Yeah. And so his followers was like, yo, go back, go back. Like, we want to see more. We want to see more what a cave looks like. All the comments were saying that except one comment. One comment was like, yo, whatever cave, like that cave that you've seen, do not go back because you will never come back. Mm-hmm. That one comment said that. He didn't pay attention to no mind. He went out. It was November 10th, 2000. Was it? Yeah, no, it was November 10th, 2014. He went out. It was supposed to be a, a like a like a camping thing. So he's going to stay overnight. So he said goodbye to his wife, his girlfriend. And he went out by he, himself. By himself, and he never came back. They found his car and his cell phone like miles apart from each other, and they found his truck still on, and it was right by the cave. And you know where the cave was, bro? Utah. No, it oh. was right next to Area Fifty One, bro. Oh shit! It was right next to Area Fifty One. Like it was on. It was a little bit. It was maybe, I would say, like a quarter mile away from oh, that the is base. In Nevada, bro. So it was in Nevada. So a lot of people think that he might have. Like stumbled across like you know, like a like a Area Fifty One bunker, and he seen like some secrets, mm-hmm. and they had to take yeah, them. They had to pack them up. They had to pack them up, or they a lot of people said they he found like an alien base or whatever, and they packed mm-hmm. them up. I don't know about that, but a lot of um, 
people say like he might have fell in like a mine shaft and killed himself. He might have died. But his wife thinks that he might have committed suicide because the, I think before like he quit his job to be like a full time content creator, but he mm. wasn't like happy. Yeah. So people think he killed himself, but like nobody has ever found his body since, and it's been like a mystery till this day. Nah, he's seen something he wasn't supposed to see, bro. He's se- get, you know, get over here. Imagine, bro. Come here, especially, especially the what creeps me out is there was one, there was literally one comment that oh, predicted, yeah, that warned him, that warned him. Like, like imagine yo, that was the CIA saying, like, yeah, don't like, go yo, back, like chill, bro. Like we trying to spare your life, but chill out. And then he's like, he didn't listen, bro, because you know the CIA, they be going, they be like. They be in the internet, like going. Oh, no, they, co- that's their job. That's their job. They they scope out stuff. So if they see something that's a little bit too close to the truth, they're like, "Yo, mm-hmm. chill out," or you're getting too close, like, or they call you or something like that. Mm-hmm. But they be watching everything. Everything. So that might have been like a CIA agent or somebody like, from yo, Area we Fifty One. We seen you come in the cave. You know that thing you felt that was us. Yeah, don't, don't come, come back. back. And chill out. That's crazy. Work. I'm not gonna lie. If I see don't come back ever again on like that's, one of our adventure vlogs, that's cool. I'm never. You never see me again. Thank you. I won't come back. Never gonna see me again, bro. I promise you. But like, I I do think he did see something, especially yeah. when he said the cave was like a perfect M shape. So it was like two triangles, yeah. and it was like perfectly cut. Like it was really weird. And just the fact that he felt that way, and even though, I think the the one thing that creeps me out is just the one comment. Like the one comment out of all them things is Nobody really scary. Invested that comment, right? Like, who is that? Like, who is that? It was just a random person. Like, mm-hmm. how, like, who are you to know that he will never come back and he never came back for real? That's really weird. But, hey, man, I hope hope the family's okay with that. But it's been over... It's been about 10 is years since still up? Um, I think if you look up his, his YouTube channel, you'll still see a couple of the videos. I'm going to say, is that comment still up? Uh, probably is, but there was a lot more comments on there. So, it probably blew up after that. So, they probably got to find it. Mm-hmm. But I know, I think... He didn't take a video of the cave, but he took a video of like a couple of days before when he was getting closer to the cave. Mm-hmm. And you see him like like panning around the desert and you see little things pop up, like little things that look like they're watching him. Like it looks like bushes, but it looks like a human at the same time. Yeah. And you don't know if like that may be like some little or like an organism or an actual like person watching him. But it looked like he was like people think he was being watched like the whole time. Yeah, bro. And he just stumbled too close, across, bro. It's crazy work, but that's why that's why with the, with the with the little adventure vlogs that we do or the little, the the haunted stuff, we gotta be a little careful that we don't stumble across nothing crazy, bro. Because the day that happened, bro, cup. <laughs> hey, bro, hey, just stay stay away from that, bro. But do you have anything? Any last things you want to talk about? You want? Did, did you you heard? Uh, probably not. It's a true crime story. I I, I heard it from uh. Take it. I'm I'm gonna take. I'm gonna give him his credit. Mm-hmm. What you call it? Uh, Ray Williams. You know what that is. I heard the name before. So he, I heard him talk about it. Yeah. It was a story. So I think it was in Austria. A dude named, his name was Joseph. That's why I want to tell it. His name is Joseph Fritzl. Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn, Fritz, you cook. <laughs> but he, uh, so he had a daughter, right? So what is it? This is a true, this is a true, this is a true story. True crime story? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. He had a daughter, right? Mm-hmm. And then him and his daughter, like, they didn't really get along. They used to always fight, right? Yeah. So one day he, like, tricked his daughter. He, like, you know what? Like, yo, come downstairs and help me with this. Help me with this door. Like, I need to, I, I need help fixing this door. I know exactly and what then, you're talking about. And then, like, he, like, knocked her out. And then, like, he she she woke up. And he was, like, he had built his, his house mm-hmm. his, basically to, like, an underground bomb shelter. Yeah. So, where he had, like, an underground room mm-hmm. into another room that had a bookshelf. That he opened a bookshelf and had another room. Yeah. And then, like, his daughter's like, yo, like, you bugging. Like, let me out. She No, she was she 18 at this point. Yeah. He, like, nah, you're not getting out. And he fucking raped her, like, kept raping her. She had one kid. She raised a kid down there. Yeah. And then she had another kid, raised that kid down there. And then she had, I think she had three kids. And then, she, and then. It was, she, it was four. She had four. And then the third one. They sent them They up. sent upstairs and was like, oh, the, like he, he told his wife, oh, yeah, our daughter must have ran away. She joined a cult. And then she said that she got pregnant and left the, the baby on the doorstep. Mm-hmm. And then he did that for the next two babies. And then the one daughter that was the oldest one that was nineteen, yeah, she got sick, had to go to the hospital. Uh huh. And then she 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 took him to the hospital, and they was like, "Yo, we need the this person's mom for medical records, or we can't do nothing." Yeah. And then he let the mom come out, and was like, "Oh, where'd you been? Didn't you join a cult?" Mm-hmm. And then feel me like once they separated her, she told the truth, mm-hmm. and they, this nigga raped his daughter for from eighteen to forty two. How many years is that? Twenty four years, nigga. Hid his daughter 
in an underground basement bunker for 24 mm. years, raped the fuck out of her, and had seven children by this lady. That's crazy work, bro. But you know, you know they made that into a movie? Nah, nah, I didn't know that. It's called The Girl in the Basement. That's literally where I remember it from. Like, it ha- that happened in, all- in Australia. Austria. All- no, it was Austria or Australia? Austria. Austria. It was Austria? Yeah. Because, bro... It, like I didn't know it was a true like watch watch the movie. No, I want to watch it. Yeah, bro, it's OD, bro. Like me and Jay watched it with their parents, and I didn't know it was a true story at the time, mm-hmm. bro. He literally kept that woman in that basement for like you said till she was forty two, and she had all these kids, and it was crazy because like every couple months he would bring something down for them, uh-huh. like he'll bring like a TV, some books, so at least the kids would know something. Yeah. But the kids would look at him as like dad. Uh huh. And but like they will not, they don't know nothing about the outside world. They just think like they're living there like to be safe. Uh huh. But like really, that's their grandfather. Yeah. And it's really and it's like was well, their grand? It is their grandfather. Grandfather, yeah, yeah, technically. And it's like a lot of the kids, like in the in the movie, like the kids like started developing like sicknesses, like asthma and stuff because they don't have fresh air down there. Uh huh. And like he used to cut if the if the wife used to get out of line, he used to cut the air off. Uh huh. And like put stuff in there so they could knock them out and like they'll wake up like what happened but he'll like abuse them and stuff but like that's really sick yeah that's that's od bro that's bro. mad like i ain't gonna lie like that's really one of the sickest things i think i've i probably nah, he's like i think he's doing life now nah, he needs to no he need to die because I, nah, I actually i don't want him to die bro oh, that's too that? easy bro yeah he need that he need that same treatment but worse bro like, but you know what's scary bro Cause there's really how many more people that go through that that we probably never found that we probably ne- not never found or we haven't found yet that's going through it right now. Uh-huh. Like it's so sick. It's really creepy, bro. Like it. Like I remember. Like me and Jay just watched the movie uh, yesterday. It's called Trap. Pretty good movie. I think you should watch it. It's basically about a serial killer who gets caught in a trap. Uh huh. Like like it was at a concert. Like his his uh his daughter. He took his daughter to a concert, but his daughter don't know he's a serial killer, and I guess. Somebody told the FBI that he's gonna be there, yeah. so they set up a trap. Like they're te- they're checking every every male in that building to mm-hmm. to see like if he gets out, like so he don't get out. Yeah. And throughout the whole movie, he's trying to figure a way how to get out. But he's like a he's like a sociopath, psychopath. Like he's like he's he has OCD, mm-hmm. so he's always very precise with whatever he does. Yeah. That's why he hasn't got caught. So he starts to realize like how the heck he got caught. Mm-hmm. And like it shows you at the end of the movie, like, I ain't gonna tell, I ain't gonna spoil it now, or whatever. But it's a really good movie, people. Like I didn't think it was gonna be that good. And it's really good. It's a pretty good movie, and it just makes you show like there's really sick people in this world that are really that would that they have not they don't think like me and Corey, like you and I, but they just think in a different way, and they think it's a good thing what they're doing. But at the end of the day, that's sick. It's bro. too sick, bro. But that that what that what he did with, that, with his daughter, bro. That's crazy. And now she's just living like regular. Now she's living... I know. Like, how do you live regular after that? I don't think so. I think that's that's where you really need a, a therapist, bro. Like I that, don't even think a therapist is... That's not enough, bro. She was in that... She was trapped for 30 years, bro. 24. And the, 24, yeah. But like... And like, I think... Like but in the Think mo- about it. His daughter... The oldest daughter did 19 years of life in a basement. And she didn't even know. She never like, knew what... They never knew think what about what, Think was. about everything you did up until 19, bro. She did that until... She did that in a basement. In a basement, not knowing what the sun, she never seen sunlight. She never seen people. They only just watch the TV, like the same show every day, and they just think that's what the life was. Yeah, that's sick. And man. like what the so what so what happened in the movie was they had four kids. They had the, the daughter, the son. They had a middle another child, and then they had another one. Mm. Like she was already pregnant. So the third one, when the third one was born, she was like, "Please, can you just let him have a life?" Like he's like he like he doesn't want, I don't like of course like you took the life away from these two, but just give him a chance. Yeah. So they gave him a chance. He's like, all right, whatever. But what she did was she put a note in the freaking, in the baby carriage, mm-hmm. hoping her mom would see it, yeah. saying like, yo, we trapped in the basement. And the dad found the note. Oh. And he was like, I bet. You want to do that? Rocked her. We'll be in the ass. And she was pregnant with another kid, bro. That's sick, bro. Sick world, bro. It's really a sick world. There's really a lot of sick people that do devious things in this world, bro. But like I said, with this podcast, we're going to try to spread positivity and mental health every single day, bro. With laughter and bad and comments. And they not Down syndrome or nothing. That's what I'm thinking. Now, now they came out perfectly like normal. That's that's even more weird. I know that's crazy. Like yeah, inbreeding. Seven seven normal kids <laughs> after incest. Like, how many kids they had? Seven. Seven. Oh, so he was wow. That's actually nuts. He was wilding, bro. Who was de- uh, he was delivering the babies? 
Yeah, bro, that's no painkillers, no meds, no nothing, bro. She was just down there giving birth, bro. Seven babies. That's crazy. Sucks, bro. Man, I hate to end it on a low note like this, people, but yeah, this is crazy world. Now she's just living normal life. How do you live it? Like, as her and the kids is living. Like, how do you live a normal life after that? I don't know, bro. Like, I know, I know, I know. The first four kids are weird. They gotta be. They don't know. They don't got no social Social, skills. They got no social skills. I know they're weird, bro. Mm -hmm. But that sucks, though. I mean, they definitely gotta have some help, but. It's it's really a weird weird world we live in, bro. But you got anything else you want to talk about, Court, before we end the podcast? No, I can't think of nothing. Hey, man, thank you again for pulling for another podcast, man. We got a lot of big things coming. We got a lot of big things coming. There's a three year anniversary of the podcast coming soon. Three year podcast. We got a lot of new changes coming. We got a lot of new additions coming. We got new videos coming out. The haunted video coming out Friday thirteenth, September thirteenth. Tune into that. We're almost done with that, people. But if you want new content, you want more extra content, or you just want to see support the guys, subscribe to our Patreon. We got five dot three dollars tier, five dollars tier, ten dollars tier, and if you subscribe to our Patreon, we we shout you out every day on the pot or every podcast. So, oh, ooh, excuse oh, me, nice burp. Thank you. So before we end the podcast, I'm gonna shout out everybody on our Patreon. So first to our free subscribers, we got we gotta hype them up because they really love us, bro. Ooh. We got Jalen Strong, Trey Simmons, oh, Levi yeah. O'Neal, Jordan Smith, Javarian Jackson. I know you're from Atlanta. Can you let me? Can you confirm that with me, my brother? Why do you know that? I don't know. He just sounded the Javarian Jackson. Javarian Jackson. Oh, Javarian. Haba Shju Bashushid. Yeah, you you botched that. It's I, I don't know if that's your real name. Let me know how to pronounce it in the com in the comments, or DM me. I heart big booty freaks. Nice. Farmington, like Farmington Fleming, John Paul Sr. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Summer McKintry, Robert Shelton, O'Shea, Drew, Jaquavion. No, no, he's from Atlanta. Jesse Rodriguez, Kev, Rob Quash, Cal, Nud DeShield, Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Willis, Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, LaCroix Ingram, my boy from Harlem, Tyrone Bowens, Girl Perry, King Fry. I'm going to stop saying y'all names, but. For our second round Who's steals. King Fry? That's Fritz. No, I don't know who that is. Oh. Second round steals. We got DJ Khalid, yeah. Muhammad, and Tamia. Shout out to y'all for subscribing to our second round steals for the five dollars. We appreciate y'all. More content coming up this week. I was supposed to drop it last week, but a lot of stuff happened. I got a PC now. So we're gonna be pushing out more content. Yeah, that shit nice. But for our final first round lottery picks, the big ten dollar people the big spenders the big steppers we got Tavon cox and mm. leland pool shout out to y'all thank y'all for subscribing to our patreon thank you for tuning in to another episode of no ruggers podcast episode number 154 if y'all new to the channel subscribe comment down below like the video all that good stuff and yeah a lot more content coming soon stay tuned with that people any last words, Corey, before I end this podcast? Gangster. We different than Regno Regas, man. Gangster. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it.